Hello and welcome to episode 58 of the Terminus Podcast for the weeks of uh, what August 6th, 2016. I almost said April, I'm sorry. That's I got a little hung up there. Uh, I am your host, Ellis, otherwise known as Train Man. With me, my engineers are Weibull, Jader, and Milky. And our special Whoa. guest this week, once again, is Chris. It's been a little yeah, while since you've been I'm on. I'm back, I'm dead. You thought I was dead, huh? Well, I'm back. If you want me no! To... If you really don't want me, you can leave the video put now. The, uh, put, put in the Joe Swanson. No! Great, now Milky's gonna go find it. Please uh, don't. Okay. Anyways, before Milky finds that stupid thing, the train will terminate at this station. No! <laughs> Chicago. Right, right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the land of soy and barley. We're actually and up near Chicago you, right now. And corn, you dumbass. <laughs> and corn, fine then. <laughs> the internet because is really, really great. great. Because all offended, you probably aren't smart enough to grow soy anyway. Oh! Jeez. We, we actually, do have soybeans out here, right. genius. Jader just needed a moment. You just need a moment. You just need a moment. Trader's All right. Gone. Anyways, anyways. I'm so triggered. This this looks to be a fairly packed podcast. Look at all this freaking yeah. stuff that I have. Look at oh, all yeah. this stuff. Who has the doc? I have one thing. Oh yeah, you don't. I need to post the doc link, derp. Yeah. Like, mm. Uh, that's right. Don't I need that? Yeah, you do. Here you go. Here's the doc link. Okay, so. I'm going to start off with uh, something about me. Hope you guys Here he goes mind. again. Yeah, no. Uh, so, there's a couple pages on the COG website that I never bothered to check, but my mom decided she wants to take me up to the Mount Washington COG for my 20th birthday. And I'm totally not going to be 20. Jeez, uh, uh, you're old. Shut up! <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rude. They they yeah, usually yeah. react like that when they got one foot in the grave, you know. <laughs> Y'all are terrible people. <laughs> Anyways, yes, yes we are. Uh, what else? Is new? You guys realize uh, we're now. But news. anyways, ah, my mom decided to click on not the news tab but the events tab, and coming on August twentieth, which is a Saturday, there is a steampunk festival. Oh. No. Ooh. No, 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 no. They're not all that bad. Just yours was bad. Not a, no, 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 Weibold. Don't worry. I'm going. I'm waiting for Agent okay. Steamer in to do a steampunk thing. In costume. Oh, yes, I'm going to I'm going to have Tori help me figure out a costume and my mom and I are going to dress up and go. Oh boy. Lord have mercy. If you could hear that, that was my hand hitting my forehead. I'm waiting but, for uh, Age of Steam on House. No, just because we do something doesn't mean it's a good idea. As a matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. I mean, it's a good idea, but if you I don't mean, do it, it's not a good idea. Well, I will think about this. The Mount Washington Cog Railroad does not have a history of good ideas. <laughs> Namely, and itself. we do looks at poster for black on track. No, but God. really, like, <laughs> building a railway to the moon. It's always a good idea. <laughs> what are you talking That's about? Right. That's right. Also, my mouse just died. Rip. Also, so we had black on track, and we had a bl we have our token black guy that works at the museum, and we couldn't get him a porter's uniform. Oh my god! <sighs> have you guys? He wanted to do it. He wanted it. That's great. I'm glad he has a. He wanted. Gamer. He wanted to do it, and we couldn't find him a porter's uniform. You mean the museum doesn't have one? We have one, but we don't have any like reproduction. <laughs> Oh, oh that you don't want to use the oh, original. Yes, we have a porter's uniform. We have a porter's uniform, but it's like, here we see a porter's uniform that was used on the last run of the California Zephyr. It's like, oh. You know, It'd be authentic. Friendly, actually. It would be authentic. Oh, wait, no, Weibold. You don't want to damage the historical fabric. Yeah. Quite literally. Isn't, that, <laughs> isn't, damaging, isn't damaging the fabric of history your thing? Yes. Why is it my thing? TTO? Yeah, that's true. 
<laughs> Listen, we try to maintain the fabric of history. It's the other people that are breaking stuff. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would have used it if it wasn't that, if it was just, you know, like, a normal quarters uniform. Because, I mean, I have my grandfather's uh, writing company uniform, which, yeah, I've made some quote-unquote reproductions, if you can even call them that. It's really just a blue shirt with a patch sewed onto them. And I've made them, but, I mean, I still use that one as a car hosting uniform because I don't have one yet. Hmm. I use use my overalls for everything because it's like, I don't want to buy a conductor's uniform. I want to buy one, but it's money and I don't have. Maybe. How about this? Promote me to a conductor and then I'll buy a conductor's uniform. (laughs) Maybe, yeah. Okay, so I figured out something I hate more than grab irons. Uh, well, um, that should probably be in the next section. Wrong section. <laughs> well, it's present to my situation, so... Still, wrong section. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Pull uh, hard, please. Blah, blah, grab irons. Blah, blah, pearl hard. But anyways, come meet, come meet me at the Steampunk Festival at the COG. Eh. Not, you, not do, you guys. Not you guys. The audience. I don't care about you guys. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> please don't do that because then that then thing could happen. But speaking of speaking of terminus meetups, uh, okay. so remember how I will go off every once in a while and talk about the subway challenge, the New York City yeah. subway challenge. Oh like, no! To like you know cover as many stations as possible. Apparently, there's actually a world record for going to all the stations in the line. Yeah. And was uh, isn't it a Chinese guy that holds it? Yeah, recently it was. Recently, the guy beat his own record. Uh, this was yeah, a couple weeks they had ago. A new station. Yeah, recently, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they added its new 34th Street Hudson Yards stop was opened in September, creating the 469th station in the New York City subway system. And so he decided to go out and reget the record. So. In 21 hours and in 21 hours, 28 minutes and 14 seconds, he managed to get through all 469 stations. Jesus, that was expensive. <laughs> well, I mean, it is the New York City subway system, so you, as long as you don't leave the system, you can ride as long as you want on one pass. Oh, yeah, we have oh, really fair. So, well, you can just buy That's one pretty... ticket. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Actually, it's fairly cheap. I retract my but, last statement. But yeah, well. You know, but every time he had to go, like, uh, what was it? He had to run a great distance between two stations. Oh, yeah. Uh, there was one transfer I had to make around 12.30 p.m. where I had to run two miles from the end of the two line to the end of the five line, and the heat was troublesome. Uh, Rip. He, he ran a total of seven and a half miles during... Oh, what the hell happened to Mason? This broadcast blow up. Uh, an unexpected error occurred while playing this video. Okay, so, well, I'll try to get the broadcast back, but yeah. So, that's really cool, and I was really impressed. This is really cool. You know what else is really, really cool that what? has to do with past trains? What? There's a thing going around to get Dever's ski train back! Again? Oh, Swag. yeah. I want this. I will I will vote Denver for this. ski train. Yes. Donald Trump support the Denver <laughs> ski train. You got my vote. It's like I Make, hate bo- I hate both of the candidates, but if one of them supports the ski train, I'm in. If one of them supports a train, I'm a in. train, yeah. A train. Well, I mean, just just look at it this way: neither of them are Kasich. Mm-hmm. That is true. But that, that is a point. That is, you do have a point there, but that really doesn't save it from that much. No, it's no, true. Not really. Uh, None of them have previously turned down railroad funding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like, seriously. God damn it. Uh, Donald Trump owned a part of Penn Central at one point. Yeah. Why am I not surprised? Actually, that's that's a strike against Donald Trump. Uh, yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he, He's going to make Penn Central great he again. He wants us to succeed, so... What? Nothing. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyways, uh, to continue on the thread of stuff about the New York City subway, though, uh, two things important. One, the countdown clocks are coming. So, uh, people have been wanting... Shut up. People have been wanting, uh, basically countdown clocks for trains, because at this point in time, 
if you go to a New York City subway station and you want to get on a train, you basically just stand there until the next one shows up. Now, I mean, it probably won't be more than a couple of minutes, but it's a question of, hey, do I have enough time to, like, you know, take a leak or, or what? You know, is it coming around the corner right now, or do I have time to sit back and wait for a second? Uh, yeah. And people have been wanting these subway countdown clocks for years, but unfortunately, the the system of the subway kind of didn't permit it. It just the way that just the way that the signaling system, which of course is mostly like 1930s and prior vintage, <laughs> works in New York City on the subway. It didn't permit any sort of sense being made out of countdown clocks and stuff like that, but now they're getting uh, CBTC, which is communi communication-based train control, and that means they can get countdown clocks because they can track where the trains are. So, there's a couple of videos here on that. In in essence, it's we're, we're you know, out with the old and in with the new, and a lot of the old tech is still there, and frankly, one of the one of the most intriguing things about the New York City subway system that I found that I find is they've got so many backups in places because a the system runs 24/7 365 for every inch of the system and on top of that if something goes down you know you know keep in mind think about like over time they built all these different little towers that could handle little different you know, small portions of the system, and then they consolidated them, but they never took down the old ones. So if something needs to be done, you can go to the ancient tower, and the new tower has the same systems as the old tower. Uh, you know, because it's a lot more difficult to try to rebuild the, you know, try to build a new system from the scratch of the old one without, you know, mm. tearing everything out. Yeah. yeah. No. Just leave it as is, basically. Well, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, now. exactly. And yeah, then, and true. then Hurricane Sandy came, and it was broke. So <laughs> and it became broke. <laughs> and they didn't. Uh, at least they didn't upgrade it. it. Now, uh, they fixed maybe. it, but they didn't upgrade it. Well, they're working on that's the that's the uh, CBTC, so we can get countdown clocks. That's the upgrade. Mm. But they've still got the giant boards with the LEDs, and you can see that in this in this video here about communications based train control. So it's, you know, it's a, there's like a 1930s looking switchboard with the, the pull levers to throw switches. Uh, an interlocking tower? Yeah, it looks like, it looks That's just like an interlocking beautiful. tower, except, you know, it's two stories underground. That's, uh, dear me. And it's still in use. And they're, and it's still in use, and, you know, it's not mechanical linkages, they're pneumatic. I, I'm uh -huh. fairly certain they're pneumatic. Uh, or, the, you know, the newer ones replace are electric. But... <laughs> I've I've seen some video of people basically just dicking around in the subway system, and every time you hear a switch throw, it's not like a clunk. It's like a bang, and it echoes through the tunnels. <laughs> and so wow. That's, you know... I can't believe they're using switch. Wow. Man. I and, should go know, ride the subway now. It's just dick around. <laughs> they've got... They've got the big black board with the white lines and all the all the interlockings and stuff jutted out, and all the little you know LEDs for the signals are. They've got like the board for pursuing it, like out of Silver Streak or whatever. Exactly, and then directly behind that, there's a dude at a at a Dell at a computer, uh, mm. and so he's 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 watching the board and he's doing stuff on the computer because mm. now they've got both. He's watching the board, and he's playing WoW. He's watching the board, and he's playing WoW. And then he gets a point because he's not supposed to be playing games in the job. <laughs> well, by point... <laughs> by point, I mean you're fired! <laughs> no, he gets written up. Yeah. I guess we're talking about Trump some more, then. <laughs> Jimmy rigged up sub subway really system ever. Yes. Like, he posts, like, backwoods... Well, let's just put this here and not tear down everything else. And like the I most think that'd be the London Underground system. I mean, maybe, but the London Underground, in, in my understanding, in my view, is kind of fairly well collected. Mm. Yeah, to like, an extent. They've got they've got a lot of extraneous stuff down there, and that's not to say the New York subway doesn't, but like the 
the rumoring of the locomotive under Atlantic Avenue or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Mm. They've got a few of those types of tunnels. Yeah. Do they... Uh, here, I have a question. Do they have a station where they're not sure if it exists or not? I mean, I'm fairly sure people at the New York orders. subway station know that know whether or not that station exists. It's just, you know, we don't. Uh, you'd be surprised because some people internally have said, oh yeah, no, it's, you know, it's something or other, and then people internally have said, no, there was there was never a subway station there. It's it's okay. a, it's an internal debate even to the New York City subway system, it, at least in my understanding, because nobody's quite sure which is which is the reason they've done exploratory digs in that direction, and basically come up empty. Damn. Wouldn't it still be there if it was? Well, it, it's assumed to have been filled in with dirt. Oh, okay. Like, just, just for the hell of it, because they started digging towards it, and it was just, like, loose soil. You know, not what the underground would have been. Or, you know, not what the ground would have been like there, just loose soil for some reason. And also, the from they tried to get it from the other angle, and the tunnel basically sprung a leak and started spraying water at them. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, I remember like, you. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Tunnel, the tunnel was triggered. Who dares yeah. disturb my slumber? Yeah. Pretty much. But, you know... They're not the only things that need to get out of the tunnel. Look, we all know the trash. Not, no, no video, don't start. Jesus Christ. Uh, it accidentally Those started. Uh, so JP Morgan down in a New York City subway station. <laughs> Come on. There's a picture of it. So who saw the new Ghostbusters? Uh, off topic. I have it, though. I mean, that has to do with the New York City subway. Hey. Actually, hey. that's true. That's true. I'll grant you that. I will grant you that. Wait, do they have the subway in the movie at all? In the yes. In the new one, oh. though? Yes, they do. Oh, okay. Ooh. I haven't seen the new one. I'm not one really of them works on there. Oh, okay. Really? Hmm. I'm not really planning on, you know, that. I wouldn't... Hmm. No, I, seeing I, it. I, I For heard everything I've heard, it's magnificent in how mediocre it is. Yeah. It's uh, one of those. It's, the kind, of, it's, it's like, the kind of movie... It's like not terrible, but it is so insanely average, it's mind-blowing. Yep. It's the kind those of movie where if you weird. go into it expecting to hate it, you're going to hate it. But, yeah. you know. <laughs> if you're expecting to love it, you're probably going to love it. Exactly. Mm. Well, speaking of things you ought to love, especially if you deal with the New York City subway system, uh, Operation Track Sweep is beginning. And that means they're doing a massive scale cleanup of trash and things on the New York City subway system's tracks and whatnot, mm. including they're purchasing, I think, three new vacuum trains and stuff like that. Vacuum train? Yeah, it's just a train that goes right? along the track and sucks up trash. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. So, yeah Don't they have those? What? Don't they have a couple of those They, they do, but they're getting three more. Yeah, good. Yeah. And, I remember they go one of those, though, it's like, that's kind of funny. Yeah. They're, and they're trying I, to get people involved. They, there's a little minute-long video here, which I'll direct you guys to, is to uh, trying to get people more proactive in, hey, Throw away your trash. Don't litter, mm. etc. Uh, yeah, I, I, I and pay bucks to go walk around and do that. Yeah. So. We know it's a big hole in the ground, but it's our hole in the ground. Yeah. Stop. And it's not New Jersey, so take care of it. It's yeah. <laughs> the trash doesn't belong in the New York City subway system. It belongs in New Jersey. Belongs in New Jersey. And I, I and Michigan. Michigan sucks. <laughs> And there go our views from New Jersey. NWST. Ah, good. Oh, oh, well, well. For the record, Big Joe, who is you know who is from Jersey, has said has determined with me that New Jersey is in fact hell. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something go to die. The only thing I like about New Jersey is the sense of rarity in New Jersey. Woo! <laughs> the only thing I like about Jersey is you don't have to get out of your car to pump your gas. <laughs> See, I don't like oh, that, that because they couldn't figure out how to pump a full tank of gas into my car. Oh wait, they still have those there? Yeah, that, it's it's there, illegal yeah, to pump your own gas. Yeah. In they had them. They had them in uh, in Oregon. Yeah, yeah, that they too. Still have just, them here. I mean, it, it's up to the gas station to do it in most states, but in New Jersey, it is a state law against drivers to pump your own gas. Yeah, you cannot pump your own gas you as can't a driver. Physically pump your own gas. So they have like the fifty style attendants come out that just give you like a full well, tune up or is it just a... they're people wearing Sunoco vests, you know, yeah. but Yeah, and they um, literally have no idea how to pump gas in my Volvo. Yeah. <laughs> they're 
you wish it was the fifties where you know they come out with the rag in their front pocket and they're like, you know, oh well top you off, you'll, you know, yeah, check, up, check your oil and, and this, that and the other. And they're just idiot they're these idiot teenagers that walk out in backwards and sideways hats and sort of look at you like Well, I mean I didn't see what? any backwards hats. Let me do what? <laughs> And he, uh, he, was, he was just like, how much does it take to, because he, he just kept, he kept trying to pull the handle all the way, and my, my filler tube, for whatever reason, can't handle that. You have to just tease it. And so he kept just pulling it all the way, and then it would, you know, it would stop him, and it, he'd do it again, it would stop him, do it again, it would stop him, and you'd get like, you know, a hundredth of a gallon each time, and I'm sitting there just holding my head like, this guy, this guy doesn't get it. This guy, and he's like... How much does it normally take to fill up your car? And I was just like, just, just and he goes, you want me to stop at, I don't know, whatever the hell, uh, you know, like 15 bucks or whatever. And I was like, yeah, sure. Just sure, sure, whatever. I need, I have places to go. Yeah. I'm trying to get to Pennsylvania. You have no idea how I pump my gas. I have places to go, specifically places that aren't New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. I have places. I have to I, get out I, of hell. No, it's, I have places I'd, I have places I'd rather be. For example, that, not New Jersey. For example, the that, surface no, should, of Mars. That, no, you should have just told the guy, I'm trying to get out of hell and see if we got it. See, there wasn't enough New York Central in New Jersey, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have a point there. But speaking of things from New Jersey, here's here's one tolerable thing about New Jersey. Uh, the Black River Railroad is hosting Triple Header Day again. Hmm. Oh, a triple. Yeah, and uh, so September twenty like fifth. September twenty fifth, the trains will be pulled by both of their diesel electric engines and steam locomotive number sixty. So that's yeah, pretty cool. Wait, does that count as okay? I mean, it is a triple header. It does, I suppose. I suppose it does. I mean, it's triple header. It's not a very good triple. It's, header, it's more it's lame than a normal header. triple header, but at least it's got steam. You know, I've never actually sure. seen a video from that. I've never okay. actually seen the video from that. Huh? This, this, this isn't the first time they've done this? Uh, they did it last year, apparently. Yeah, oh. Well, no rail fans went out to it, that's for sure. <laughs> hmm. And I know people who work on the Black River, mainly Robert Sporak, who is Big Joe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Big Joe works in the Black River. Johnson? Hmm. <laughs> what, what in the... In the... <laughs> Yeah, and, oh, yeah. I, and I've said this. I've said this before in, in our own Skype calls. But like, that's how that that is his actual personality. Great. Which, oh, which I forgot. Is that's the railroad personality, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, so I know weird. that. But no, he he just personifies that is not the, so much more. Big Joe is not, the embodiment of his personality. That's not the railroad personality. I met it, yeah. yesterday yes, it at, the, oh, yeah, at, at the it fair. Is. I met a really oh, okay. really nice track worker from CSX. Well, no, 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 the rare personality isn't, like, mean or anything, but it's, you know, ah, you know, it's... Ah, screw it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's the loud... Uh, cursing your lungs out of bolts. Don't forget that. That's the most important part. That's the most important component of it. Yeah, and, the, and the alcoholism, but I haven't, you know... <laughs> you haven't well, experienced I'm, that part yet? No. I'm not sure if I should talk about the, uh, this, this CSX thing, I... I, I, I learned about. Why, why shouldn't not, you talk about it? I mean, because it, it paints them in a positive light. No, it's kind of uh, uh, like you know, it relates to the model section, yet it relates to this section because it's real. Listen, if we can wait, what is this? Is this if, this? Is this this? Yeah, it was it a show, real. wasn't it? No. Yeah. Are you talking right, about I'll the go. scary cancer thing? No, no. Okay, never mind. It, it, ah! This is interesting yeah. looking, though. Yeah, I'll go ahead and... Right. So, for those of you that don't know, I attended the... Um, I attended the Ohio State Fair this year, and for three day, for the last three days... Or for, the, for the last three days of the fair, I was helping the COMRC run trains on the main HL lab. You know, met some nice people and everything. Mm-hmm. And one of the guys... Or one of the... Uh, Visitors came up, you know, he introduced himself as a track worker for CSX, and he mentions the uh, the rotary snowplow that we have next to the next to the roundhouse, and he's like, oh, CSX has one of those. Uh, and, you know, we get to talking about it, and I, and I walk up, and I go to ask, 
okay, do they have like an old school rotary? No, no, no. It's self propelled. And he mentions it's called the the Boogle Hall, or at least that's what they name it. What it's a, now? It's some, the Boogle Hall, I think. It's some it's some German self propelled snowplow. And okay. he said that he said that they used them up in uh, Buffalo when they got that seven feet of snow. They uh, sort of. Buffalo, lo, buffalo, lo, buffalo, I guess they're. Hey. I mean, he said they like they store them in you know Selkirk or Albany. Mm. I think. I should go looking now. Yeah, go find the Boogle Hall. Go find the Boogle Hall. <laughs> I'll I'll just go over there and I'll ask. But, of course, well, I'm always on top of the bridge and never like actually down with the workers. Which is probably a good thing because they'd be like, "What are you doing here?" Because it's a massive yard, and I'd probably get run over by a train, and you know. Nah, as long as you can look, you're fine. But uh, I actually have, some, have many, many things of news to talk about. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's like the, uh, the, you know, the more you know for me. Yep. The Boogle Hall. Do 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 do. Also, they call the Hall Five is running. Oh. Also, they call the uh, the R.J. Corman crane things that they used to rerail them. Apparently, call apparently they call them sidewinders on CSX. I, I think Norfolk Grand called call them hookers. And that's yeah. what they got to be. Like chicken hookers. Okay, so if you like, I can get to my news here. Uh, on September third, fourth, and fifth, Labor Day weekend this year, uh, running north than four twenty five is running trips out of Jim Thorpe. Finally, for the first time. Year. Hey, why Shut don't we up. It's like, hey, why don't we finally do something to give us more money? Because they, loads of money. they decided not to run it this year as much because of their new Humboldt Industrial Park thing that they've been saying, well, we don't have enough crews to spare because they need three crews just to run it. One to start it up, shut it down, run it, and then shut it down. So. Hmm. So they decided they're going to do it Labor Day weekend, finally. That's all. They're also going to be running for borough days in the end of September, Schoolham borough days, of which, if not announced yet, but it most likely 113 will be participating again. Yeah. They will go down there and sit there for a whole day and do nothing. Mm. I don't know, so, maybe they'll give us passenger cars this time. So speak of blue locomotives doing stuff in the month of September... Oh no! Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh god! It's that time of year again, folks. Do 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 do. Yes, everybody's favorite little blue nuisance will be visiting the Colorado Railroad Museum uh, for the last three weekends of September. I don't have my calendar handy to check the actual dates on that, but uh, yeah, come out see. Ninety one will be shoving around Thomas. There'll be activities and music, I suppose. <laughs> Neat yeah, stuff. Yeah. The music is Biggie sure. Smalls featuring Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, God. Oh, God. I go onto the Colorado Rare Museum webpage just to get the link for the cargoes, and it's a giant pop-up box that covers the whole thing. Day out with Thomas! Oh, no. <laughs> the dates Guys, by... at least that's some class. The dates, by the way, are the September 10th, 11th, 17th, 18th, 24th, and 25th. Wait, say that again? September 10th, 11th, 17th, 18th, 24th, and 25th. Okay, I thought you, I thought I heard you say three dates for the first one. I'm like, huh? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> By the way, the 24th and 25th are the two days, two days after my birthday. If there was any time where I could convince people to send me out there, <laughs> come out, yes. doctor. I wish. <laughs> Does somebody have to ride in Thomas to blow the whistle? Yes, yes. two people do. Why, why two wait, people? Wait, why two? One, I, one to view either side. Usually for the steam engines or the locomotives in general, we'll just have somebody on the engineer side, which is inside of the loop. Um, but for Thomas, because there's so many people, we like having two people up there. So you pay someone to sit outside, sit in Thomas? No, no it's volunteer. Oh, okay. I, volunteer. I, did it. I did it for a lot of last year. I volunteer as tribute to sit in a dumpster. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it isn't all that bad. It's loud and it's rough, but that's sort of just trains. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, that gives a and good that gives that gives a good impression to anyone looking to ride Amtrak. Yeah. 
Well, so, no, let me re let's re let's rephrase in that. that case, it's slow and it's late. <laughs> those those two things and go hand in hand. And it's also <laughs> Amtrak, so we'll you know never mind. All aboard Amtrak. <laughs> I have Amtrak news. You have Amtrak news? We, we yes. Amtrak. News from Armtark. What did Armtark do? Uh, and I'm titling it. Oh, never mind. What the hell does? I linked Reddit instead of the thing. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh -oh. uh, it's Why okay. I have fast? I have the the actual link, but don't try it because it's a like a pay for a news site. And you can't read the whole thing and blah blah. And uh, it's not just any pay pay for a news site. It's the freaking Wall Street Journal. Uh, oh. yes, I mean. Anyways, uh, are this, you like, enjoying the freeware? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Wall Street Journal. Um, premier news, yeah. except when you can't read it. Anyways, uh... Here it is, except, except that print is a dead media. <laughs> so, Amtrak, the, the title is the Amtrak Prince. wins argument that passengers go first and freight can wait. Uh, regular, oh, regular... I heard about uh, what? I heard about this at work. Yeah, regulators withdraw proposal to change law that gives Amtrak preference when on freight rail tracks. So, as many people may know, uh, Amtrak is mandated by the government to go first, to have priority, because people are trying to get to places on time. And generally, the freight companies will take a look at that legislation and go, ha. But... Yeah, no. So, so finally they decided to get out there and try to overturn this legislation and say that, no, we'll prioritize Amtrak however we want, uh, which, as we probably understand that would be last <laughs> it would, it's like a uh <clears throat> csx in the sense of that much revenue to them yeah separately i would be honest and uh but they withdrew this apparently it does not say why because i can't read the whole damn article so oh here it is what what uh what user is linking an article I have to pay to read. Okay, here's the article. Amtrak prevailed over freight railroads in a regulatory fight over whether Amtrak's passenger trains should have the right of way over cargo trains. The Surface Transportation Board said They're Thursday it, is with trains. it has withdrawn a proposal. Well, listen, this is the this is the Wall Street Journal. They aren't really trained people. I understand. Uh, <laughs> poor idiots. Uh, poor idiots. <laughs> The board said it couldn't resolve the broad. Right. The board said it couldn't resolve the broad disagreement between the parties and will refine its approach to the matter as specific cases arise. Uh, Amtrak has urged the board to withdraw the proposal supported by the freight railroads. The National Passenger Railroad has been trying to boost service and reliability of its inner city long haul routes across the country. Which, looking at uh, looking at the way, uh, you know, I, I was looking at on time performance lately, and they've been doing? They seem to be doing a lot better than I remember them doing. Uh, especially when it comes to my favorite rare, my favorite train in the world, the Lake, the Lake Shore Limited. Uh, they've been doing fairly well lately. Uh, I'm hang on. I'm detecting certain amounts of sarcasm in there. Yes. Uh, it's just what happens when you have to ride the Lake Shore Limited often. For sure. well, I have a quick uh, question, though. What? About the whole, uh, you know, Amtrak gets high priority. Yeah. What about, like, Hotshot UPS intermodals would those be like how how would that work? Generally, well, gen keep in mind this is generally what happens. Generally, what happens is an Amtrak train is already on a given schedule and it's given a time slot by the freight railroads to maintain, you know, being on time. And then you know everything else is sort of built around there. And the reason being is because you kind of have to tell people when a train is going to get someplace. In order for them to want to drive, or for in order for them to want to ride the train, yeah, uh, but it really seem to care when they get there. But, uh, but anyways, so it's given its time slot. The the where the priority falls into place really is not with the time slotting. It's with what happens when there's a delay on the system and Amtrak and an Amtrak train falls out of its time slot, which. You know, given given the fact that, and you could say, oh well, let's punish the Amtrak train for falling out of the time slot. Time slot, except it doesn't really make a lot of sense considering it's probably not their fault in the first place, because you know it's not on their rails to begin with. Yeah. Mm. Uh, 
It's railroads. Things yeah. go wrong. Like, yeah. That's what they do. Yeah, exactly. And mm-hmm. so if we consider that and then say, okay, this Amtrak train has fallen out of its time slot, what this legislation says initially is, okay, Freight Railroad, you are supposed to let the Amtrak train get back to being on time and get your things out of the way so that the Amtrak train can get back to being on time. And, you know, and that's all well and good, except instead they don't, and the Amtrak train is sidelined for, well, pretty much everything else. Uh, which, which just goes to show that when you have no way of enforcing something like this, it's, it's a really great thing in practice, and it's a great thing to point to when things go wrong, but there's not really much keeping from thing, keeping things from going wrong. Just Amtrak trying to be better. Yeah. Uh, hmm. But... This whole thing, I'm, I might just be, you know, rah, 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 government, conservative, rah, 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 rah. I'm very torn on this, because I do think that as a nation we should you know, put more priority on actually having some rail service that's worth something. But at the same time, it's not their rails. And they, you know... Yeah, I, I and I understand... I can popular stuff in here, but at the same time, it's sort of a sticky wicket, because it's like, well... Well, it's exactly what the freight railroads are thinking right now. It's yeah, hey, this it's, is our this is our of, stuff. You can't tell us what to do. And it's like yeah, well yeah, but we're trying to, we're trying to make America great again. Please excuse us. Uh, uh, yeah. Also, it looks like Mason is just building in no specific direction whatsoever. I think he got lost. Uh, uh, let's try uh, this way. Uh, oh wait, uh, no. Um, it's the Chicago and Puerto Rico Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago. And the, the genie Chicago says you want two lanes or four. Western. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> Chicago, but, Puerto Rico, Western. They, they with, they uh, of course. Now, in Texas. And with, now with he's in Texas. This. Yeah, now now he's in Texas. Now he's in uh, Tex-Mex. Uh, that, that that's a very Chicago, fun Puerto story, Rico, yeah. and Texas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Makes me want to rare, install Rare Tycoon again. I know. See, that was my thought as well, and I went, oh, you know, I want to play Rare Tycoon now, and then I realized, no, I remembered not really. Every time Where I go, I, I want to play Rare Tycoon, I'd load up Rare Tycoon, start playing, and go, meh. I, uh, you're like, I remember why I stopped playing. <laughs> yeah, I remember why I stopped playing this. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. This Blitz thing is crap. It's, <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, it's not crap. It's, it's not just... crap. It just kind of does not... It's like a game that acts like it has so much depth, but none of that depth actually matters. Yeah. I mean, the stock, the whole stock market system is just... It, it's stupid confusing. Ar- arguing about games for yeah. a split second here. Mm-hmm. I know it's kind of like strange, but well, this is the wrong section. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I, know, uh, I do something I did like about like Sid Meier's compared to uh, Rare Tycoon because I have played both of them. I like the stock market thing that you could buy out. Other yes. Yes. And yes. You could, you That's had the all best. their track, all their trades, mm-hmm. etc. I really you do that them, too. In but I like, I like Rare Tycoons like all-out fastness, you can go anywhere type of feel. Yeah. I liked that, but I liked that little one mechanic about Sid Meier and the freight stations. Like, that yeah. whole thing was very, very well done. But, oh, yeah. yeah, the game's... Sid so yeah. Meier, great. And so it's... Yeah. Yeah, Sid Meier, I, I never really played that much Sid Meier's because I sort of got stuck on Locomotion and never really left. See, never. I had Locomotion, but I didn't, I didn't have a product key, so that's all I had was ah. literally Sid Meier's. I've never owned Sid Meier's or done anything with it. It's ten bucks on Steam, actually. It just yeah, but see, I'm kind of waiting. I'm waiting. It had, it had for multiplayer it to too. We should do. We should do a multiplayer video in Sid Meier's. I should. I'm waiting. Get... I'm waiting for it to come into uh, into Goodwill. Say oh, it together, folks. You're waiting for everything to come in, into Goodwill. I mean, there's friggin'. Uh, I am once again. I'm gonna get a new monitor, and you're just gonna get a box on your doorstep, and it's gonna be this monitor. So you don't make right. square. By the way, anyone wondering why there's random square scenes in the Iron Horseman Chronicles? That's because Jader's making them, and he has a square monitor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm... Rectangles are better. <laughs> I mean, I a mean, square is a rectangle, though. Hey, Patrick, look what I got. Rectangles! <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Rectangles. Continuing, continuing on with the news. 
Oh yeah, that's right. News. Somebody, do, somebody do news that somebody do news that isn't me. I've still got some, but Milky, you have a bunch of stuff. Right. Uh, the yeah. well, Oregon Pacific Railroad is currently restoring the SW1 Ooh. number 100, which it says, was. Where's an EMD? Oh yeah, my god! A, oh, I know what you're talking about. I love this guy. It, it's an EMD oh, okay. with a with friggin' trolley poles. <laughs> yeah, and they're putting the trolley poles back on it. <laughs> yeah, wow. I just don't see how that's a good idea. Why would it be it, a bad idea? It's a good idea, but I mean, uh, why would it be a bad idea? Hey, Charlie, come over here and look at it. Ah! Because I uh, don't. Uh, hey, Charlie, get a load of this. I just barbecued a squirrel on top of the engine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gabe, look, Charlie, lunch. <laughs> Jesus that Christ. sounds good right it, now. I mean, it is Oregon. <laughs> Barbecued that squirrel, sounds, I'll pass. That sounds good right now, some, uh, some barbecue. Yeah, yeah, just not a squirrel. <laughs> no, it's like, no, it's like the one... Don't knock it till you tried it, man. Oh, well, it's like the I, one I, top gear where they uh, took, the, took the trip across the south. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Oh, God. You mean where they almost yeah. got killed repeatedly? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Milky, continue. Alright, but anyways, they're giving her mm -hmm. a new paint job, putting the trolley poles back on. And once they do that, she will be the only diesel locomotive with trolley poles. <laughs> in I wonder America. why. <laughs> See, I'm yeah. tempted to. I wonder, 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 wonder who. who I'm, I'm tempted to build this for you in Gary's mod. Oh, that would be amazing. With the trolley poles, so you can run it on a train set. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be that, hilarious. That'd be, a, that'd be an interesting one to build. I mean, I feel like there's a way to do the uh, trolley poles where you can click a button and they'll, and they'll go yeah. up. Well, oh, yeah, like the make... extendo stack. Yeah, just make yeah. an E2 for it. Can you help me, Wildwood? Because I can't E2 for shit. Certainly. I mean, if he uh, had, you know, internet. <laughs> yeah. yeah get, get, for get for those of you who don't know, by the way, in the audience, the reason I sound a little different this week is because I'm down in my basement on the telephone because it's Comcastic. Yeah. Yeah, is internet a great thing, Rival? <laughs> it's really great, except when it doesn't freaking work. Yeah. yeah Speaking of which, how are my downloads going? I'm still downloading this 20 megabyte interior. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Goddamn. And I blame Jake Rail. <laughs> right? Can I uh, d do my thing? Sure, no. you continue Oops. doing things. Everybody do things, but make uh, better right. segues than right. that. Yeah. Come on. Speaking of things that don't even soup. <laughs> Whatever. Right. So the Fort Wayne Road Historical Society has announced their 2016 open house. Oh, yeah, that's right. That thing's going yeah. on. Which is a first, yeah. which I guess this is the first for them. They were they are offering throttle time. Oh, boy. <laughs> I guess they're, ta they're taking cues from 611 having the uh, at the throttle sessions. Or, you know, the Essex Railroad. Or the oh, yeah. Or the Sumter Valley. Or the, the Sumter Valley. Sumter Valley. Nobody should take cues from the Sumter Valley. Age of Steam, do something like this, please. For one of the tours, everybody gets a free uh, at the throttle time. You get to putt around the property. Wait, it's free? No. Damn it. I'm gonna like, I mean, oh my god, I'm going! <laughs> I mean, there, is, there, there, is no, there is no cost to this. It hasn't been an Oh, wait. Admission is free and caboose rides are four dollars. Caboose rides depart approximately every twenty minutes and tickets are purchased on site. Didn't say anything about throttle time. <laughs> Let's yeah, see. Didn't they, they announce that afterwards? Visitors will also be able to purchase throttle time for a thirty minute experience at the controls of seven sixty five. Doesn't say for anything about one cost. million dollars. Now just what it, no, it's like what they did with six eleven. The cost for throttle time yeah, it's, it's seven sixty five. <laughs> Hey, maybe. Hey, maybe Jake will take me with him if he goes out to this. Mm. Uh, we need. We I need mean, to have a moment where we get all three Jakes in the same room. You know, you included. <laughs> that'll probably. <laughs> it'll be like the train club. Have three. Yeah. It, we ha at the train club. There's four. There's four people named Don. Oh God, and, we have that too. Why are so many people named Don? I have no idea. <laughs> And only one Whoa. of them, you know, you know, they're all like, you know, Don one, Don two, Don two, like, you know, like that. 
Only one of them has Dawn number four on his club shirt. All the others just have Dawn. God damn it. <laughs> damn. Dawn number four. We have Dawn, 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 and Dawn number five. <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, it's kind of easy to tell him apart because he's an Illinois Central nut. Hmm. Mason just placed a lumber mill directly at the end of his track. I have a feeling he's going to have a problem if he ever wants to extend the track that way. Hmm. Mason, you're an idiot. I damn it, Mason. But he actually was learning to use industries. I had to get out my big, I had to get out my big fold-up piece of paper with all the rare tycoon industries on it to, to help him with something. The hmm. big fold-up piece of paper. Oh no. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, and we're back to Trump again. I didn't say huge. How are we back? How do we get back to Trump? Because apparently <laughs> any, because apparently the word huge in any context means Donald Trump. Okay. Right. We just, we just oh, persistently oh, end up back at Trump. It's just like media. August 19th. It's just like the media Damn. right now. <laughs> it's just Damn, like the media. I mean, the Olympics are a thing. I just remembered something. Mm. Strasburg has offered a new thing and associated with some business in Lancaster for their steampunk thing this year, and I really oh. love on it. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's they right. That's right. Escape the train car. Using the President's car, which I'm not sure if it's the Penzi one or the PNR one, it's one of them. Using the Penzi car, you will have an hour to escape a room in the car. It's thirty dollars a person, and I'm going on it. I and want so, to go on this. Does anybody else? Go, anybody else know what an escape room is? Yes. I, uh, yes. Uh, yes. I right. Know. So yes. It and, is, oh my! God, I want to go on this. This sounds so cool. I, it's 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 sponsored by the escape room in Lancaster, which I also want to go to now. <laughs> The- but uh, yeah, I will find the link for that in a few I'm minutes. Tickets I'm just yeah. accepting that Lancaster is a weird place, and that's about all there is. Pennsylvania is a weird place. Just get used to it, bud. Just everyone's weird. We eat scrapple. Hmm. Eat scrapple? What? Scrapple. Scrapple. Oh, I think it's. Scrabble. I've actually heard of it, but I don't know what it is. It's it's breakfast meat. It's it's actually kind of good. I'm not, I don't know what it's made of, and I'm, quite honestly, I don't want to know what it's made of. It seems like no, I no, no. But it, 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 it it's a Dutch delicacy. It is really good. Freaky Dutch, Dutch. What do you what do you cook that in? You just cook it. Just throw it on a pan. Cook it and eat it. Sometimes okay. you put ketchup on it. Sometimes you what, don't. What I mean, what do you cook Dutch delicacies in? A pan. Oven? Oh no! No! <laughs> Nobody got the joke. I, I knew what you were. I knew what you were getting at, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> ooh, 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 what are you cooking that delicacy? In? Um, your mom. A pan. <laughs> right. Anyways, let's continue with the news. We've got news. Yeah. So, these guys. Do. W. Already established that at the news. Shut up. So. <laughs> NW has officially spilled the beans. Quite your choice. Oh, God, you told me about this. No, 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 no. Don't boo this. They ran it into the thing. They they ran into a truck hauling green beans, and they spilled oh, them. Oh, yeah, that one. I came up with that thing. At least it wasn't potatoes. Came up with what thing? Aloha, potato. I came up with that, you, with that pun in the group. So no, boom. you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> I, I had. Yeah, this is literally the most <laughs> obvious pun you could go to. I, and I went to it, and I. Is it appropriate to say that was really corny? <laughs> okay, give him a point. <laughs> what? I get a point for that, but he doesn't get a point for they spilled the beans. Yeah. Well, they actually did. Yeah, they didn't quite literally spill them. That that is true. If if they hit a truck. They had I mean, a spill, of spill implies they sort of fell out. They probably more like exploded the beans. No, 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 no. Look at it. They spilled them. It, the tr- the it truck it is like it's just tipped side. over. Okay, so yeah, but, what? What? Who was this? Was this? Uh, it, it was ah. Port in the West. Ah, so okay, no, no, no surprise there. They they have no Orange idea how to be a plague. BMW. Orange plague. It, this is why it crossed the road from the museum. <laughs> Were I, the beans being delivered to you? No. Are you certain? Not. But yes, I'm sure. I've, 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 I've seen Is this train a few times. I... But have you seen the bean truck? <laughs> no, I have not seen the bean truck. How about, how about the beat truck? 
It's by Dr. Dre. <laughs> no, not that. Shout out to the pass. The only hey, complete, uh, the only completed zombie train book that doesn't suck. <laughs> so, six eleven is back in Roanoke. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you, Chris. I was about to make it. They left. They went back to Roanoke and. <laughs> Now steam dead until whenever, but I know whenever, when, whenever is, but I cannot bring say. it to Ohio. No, bring it to Albany. Well, bring it, as I say, bring it I somewhere that it, as I am on it, camera right you know, now. You guys know need, where you're going. They just need to bring it somewhere that is. Ah! Decent. Sorry. Like, seriously, they just put, they just run around, you know, the south. Come on, okay. bring it north. Well, as I said, Weibel, or as I get Weibel. Bring it west, the end, Norfolk and it, western. It, as I said, in the group, I said it, I cannot say it here because I will get my head ripped off. And I quite like my head, thank you very much. Which one? <laughs> Both of them. Yeah, very but much. listen, one of them, one of them, you'll die, the other one you can't live without. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But still, I like both of my heads, and I'd like to keep them. Thank you very much. So I cannot say it here because as I said I'm on camera. And why would left? Oh. Uh, I think he, he might have exploded. He might be back. He might have, might have ran out of cellular data. Yeah. Uh, I, it occurs to me that we didn't select what we're doing for locomotive versus. Oh yeah. Uh, can can I add something to the doc that I noticed? No. no, you can't. T1 versus T1. I will, I will add that. that. We could we have already do that. One off. No, we haven't done that, but some other channel that also does locomotive versus That's did all, that. Why can't we do it? Oh, yeah. well, I'm not saying we can't do it. Let's do it. Okay, no, we no, do we Lee, have can one. we do Lee versus Cancer? Lee versus Cancer. <laughs> it is a, well, Wobble, Wobble needs to come back for that one. Oh, right. Reading T1, CPT1. No, no CPT one. Wait, how about Get the CPT one out of yes. here. One versus CPT one versus Pansy T one. Yeah, but the T1 C one off. Get all, all these other T ones out of here. Only the purists. No, how about the C and O T one? Purists, Steve can can enter. No, let's do the no, no the duplex versus the uh, the big C and O two ten four. No, just leave it like that for now. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll deal with more ridiculous things not. later. <laughs> Can we verse in? Uh, is there CNJ a widow on Steam like I have no idea. Well, let's not oh, worry about wait. that right now. We still have news. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, continue with the news. Oh, wait. A short line has recently revived the a whale line from Columbus to Mullins, West Virginia. Oh, yeah, that's right. That happened, too. Yeah. And this was a part of. No full times West Virginia secondary. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That just that just got shut down, right? Yeah, and it just got started up again. Yeah, yeah. I, I I remember us discussing this. I remember actually reporting on that that line getting shut down. And now it's coming back. It's and now it's back. back. And now you're back from outer space. But it's going to be operated by um, Wetco companies. Which, if you don't know, it's the operator of 36 short lines. Jesus Christ. And Jesus. A lot of short lines. And the number of switching operations. I know that they won the GP mill at Toledo for switching. Uh, yeah. It's a really good story of a. Now well, listen. Be abandoned. Up. <laughs> well, what's going to be abandoned? Uh, God damn it! I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm. I'm going to look forward to seeing this. So uh, doing a thing. Oh my! See, that's just what you can get done when you're not building a trail over your eye. Or when you're not bureaucracy. <laughs> incarnate. Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Steam Town! <laughs> well, they're not that bad, but... I can. mean... You know who isn't bad? Who isn't bad? 
the Colby. Red River and NKP Railroad Museum. They are. They have a lot of special events lined up for the uh, for this for the latter half of 2016. First one that I'm going to mention here is their second annual rail fest on August 20th, beginning at 8 a.m. Spend a day of rail fanning, train watching, and photography at the Mad River and NKP Railroad Museum, the largest museum in o- ra- largest rail museum in Ohio. On August 20th, we will be featuring our Kemper Rail Park for Rail Fest 20- 2016. The agents- <laughs> Long story short, they are they are hosting a a 24-hour train watching event at their Kemper Rail Park in in Bellevue, right at the uh, well, that's cool. right at the. Mm-hmm. So the Cassandra All Night are just relocating. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. sort of. Oh my God! If, Mason had to build a really stupid thing to get his track out of there after he put up the thing at the end. Mason, yeah. you do not care for the aesthetics of your track, do you? No. It looks horrifying. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Um, maybe maybe if Jake goes, you, if Jake goes anywhere rail fanning and I don't have to work, he's taking me with him. No matter what it is, he's taking me with him. Adventure. I mean, it works for the roundhouse, so. You know, let's see. And then on September third, actually, no, that's not. That's not train related. Never mind. Whip. <laughs> well, right. I might. No, no, I have one more thing. Oh, uh, always. Oh, fine. I mean, you can bounce around. We can bounce around. All right. Yeah. On se- on September twenty fourth, they will be they will be hosting a Saturday of steam bus tour. Ew. No, they're gonna. We're going to start by visiting the H. Steamer House, then go to the Cuyahoga Valley. Oh, that's right. Uh, I got news there, too. Tickets are not available for... Tickets are not available at the moment. I will report on those as soon as I hear about that, as soon as I find out, find out about them. Wait, no. Chris? That's right. Uh, 765 is going back to the Cuyahoga Valley. Or Cuyahoga hey. Valley. What? So that's oh, the thing. Fine. You're going back there uh, soon. I do not know the date. I think it's probably September first. It's no, probably no, they, mentioned because why else would they going there for steam? They start the. Uh, I think it's the 17th. Yeah, it's the September 17th and 18th, and then the 25th. Hey, why? Hi, why? Hi, my tubes. Uh, my tubes were full. Yeah. Did you run out of the data? The internet is delayed. And now he's hitting And things. now he's beating the yeah. tubes. Why, well, well, model trains are not the same as real trains. <laughs> it, sometimes things just you need know, a little... The so, ideology of use a bigger hammer, this is the smallest hammer I could find. You know, sometimes things just need a little bit of percussive maintenance. Everybody knows this. Yeah. Yes. Fair point, fair point. Now that, that is the true railroad way. Yes. <laughs> Beat it until <laughs> it works. Damn it works! Well, uh, no, I know. What? That's that's going on. Nothing. Oh, I've never gauge. Stop. Why about two? I have narrow gauge news. Uh oh. What narrow gauge? Friends of the Cumbrians and Doltek started painting things for some reason. Wait, what? They are always painting they, stuff. They started <laughs> painted all of their tank cards, and they've started painting box cards and stuff like that. Yeah. I you know, what, you, you know what they're not doing? Making money. Something useful. <laughs> Fair point. Yes, but I'm saying they are. They're still. Hey, they're doing something. They're doing something. It's nothing, nothing good, but they're you doing something. Yeah. So they have a big fleet of shiny black tank cars that are unleaded. But they actually look quite nice. Like, like, really, they, they've got they've got tank cars. I've heard that that's really useful when you're moving pipe. You know what else is really useful for removing passengers? You know what help? You know what's helpful for removing that? Making for advertising. Yeah. That and really you know what's even you know what's even better? A website. Wait, do they? Who are they these guys? The website. Kind of crap, the cats. But... Oh. They have, they have a website. They just don't. Uh, they don't advertise worth anything. Like there is nothing. Nothing. At all. Yeah. And there are people that are really interested in trains that come to the museum, and it's like, what's the Cumbria Zental Tech? See, that's scary. Yeah, the only reason why I went there yeah. is because it's ah. a faithful reader. 
it's more of a faithful uh, reaction of uh, narrow gauge stuff than the than the DNS. But I mean, it's I think DNS does a better job. I mean, if, I mean, if you can if you combine the two and save one, save one. Yeah, save one. Come on. Save one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> help because the state as, as Mike would say there's a lot of foam going on over there right now <laughs> hey look at this there's a lot of foam going on right now oh god what <laughs> what are you <laughs> god damn it Somebody do I want to look at this one of the best yes yes you do <laughs> yes you do it's in fact train related and it's funny. Oh my god, come on, Lou. Did they actually... Uh... <laughs> Boom! Hold on, it's a little loading for me. By the way, I was, I was on the Boston subreddit the other day, or well, I was just on Reddit, just looking around my front page, and I see a... a Bitch, I'm a Sam post Bowie. on the Boston subreddit what? that goes, Hey, does anyone want a free pass on the Down Easter? And I was like, what? <laughs> And I, there were only three comments, but the first comment was like, I do, and the person was like, okay, here you go. Have fun. <laughs> so can we move on to the second thing, because I've got 10% battery. Um, hey. uh, how about get a plug? Okay. Get an extension um, cord, dumbass. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have outlets down here. That's, really? that's what the extension cord is for. From upstairs? Yes. Yeah. Yes, go get, get the extension cord. Thing cord if and when you come out cord. here, I will demonstrate as to why that is not feasible. Yeah. Uh, I will I will make it feasible. Just go get a 140 extension cord and just bring it down the steps. Turn your brightness. I am engineer. <laughs> why will turn your brightness down? <laughs> He's sharing video. I can't see it. He's not bright enough. Okay, I've turned my brightness all the way down. Good. So now it matches you. All right. Uh, what else have we got? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, triggered. You know, maybe I will just let the phone die. Oh, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, screw you. That's your, <laughs> nice job, Ellis. You triggered Wobble. Yay. Okay. Somebody do. Are you Are you doing locomotive verses this week? Am I? Yes. Hey, I don't know. It depends what, what are we're we doing. doing? We, we have. A... Wait, we wait. No, do, I, don't uh, want to do, I don't want to do the team hunts. Do something that Ellis can do so I can splash him. No, this is why I don't want to do the T1s. <laughs> how, about we did the, how about we do the Northern Pacific thing? Yeah, let's do this yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. Northern Scott Pacific Sterling. First. <laughs> <laughs> did I, yeah, I linked the, uh, the Scott <laughs> Sterling thing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> gotcha. What is that? Nope, never mind. Okay, uh, let's continue with the news things. Oh wait, ATF SEP 29-26 officially has it said. Ooh, well, that's and good. And it's been been, well, it's been moved out every now and then to get some work done. But ah, it's Facebook. They, they're getting closer to having her fully operational. Oh, good. I mean, it's always nice to get a shed. Fully armed and yeah. operational battle station. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, I have more news. Okay, get to you. They will. Uh, Boston and Maine, 3713. Hey, that's uh, my that's my jurisdiction. Shut the hell up. Hey. Hey, Chris, it's a nice that, state, damn that, it. That, that, that's the second time you've sold Chris, two, two things. <laughs> point, for, point for stealing and well, for playing just, trains just, during the podcast. Just thinking whatever the hell comes to my mind. There's probably lots of stuff that I can build. Yes. And they've stole six seven. My jurisdiction. Three. Five, Gulag. Jeez. Gulag. <laughs> Four. Fuck, oh, damn it. He's like stop. the new TJ. Stop. No, stop giving him extra points. Just leave him with two. Oh. I stole my favorite sticks. In. But anyway. Dose, Bob. Dose. Ow. Shut Five, up. Two. But. <laughs> anyways. The 3713 is getting some boiler <laughs> patchwork. Um, so. The Steam Services of America has won the bid to perform the patchwork and to rivet the Steam Dome back on. So, they were working on some Steam Dome rivet work. Uh, last time we talked about 3713, 
But this is just a very brief update to show that, yep, now we've got people in here, and oh, they're going to fix some of the... Hey, we're doing stuff! Yeah, it's that's exactly what it is, and I'm very happy to hey. see the, hey, look we're doing us, stuff. Look we're doing stuff! Hey, look at this! We're doing this! Oh my god, we're doing this! We can... Uh, the government can do... Oh, Mr. Basics, look at me! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Hold things, on, things are getting done. Yeah. We, we also... Dickler me seeks? How's your short game? What? Nothing. Quick and Moy reference. Okay, so continue. Uh, who was saying what? Oh, yeah, I was saying that we also put an out, uh, update that we did stuff at the Oregon Electric Railway Museum. Mm-hmm. For our news that do the tracks for. Ooh. It gives an update of yeah, what... What's been going on in Portland with their um, street card network? The trolley repairs that we've been doing at WST, Oost. particularly on Oost. the Oost. 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 Yeah. particularly Oost. on uh, vintage trolley fiber free, which is a uh, reproduction of our council quest. Charlie. Uh, they, they gave an update about how things are going down here at the actual museum. Like, how our inter centers been doing the signs that we our interpret center, the oh, depot. Okay. Like, we got, we got new signs. Uh, currently on the depot. Mm-hmm. And just a general update of groundskeeping really? and car restoration. Okay. And well, I may cool. not be mentioned. Newsletters are good for you. Yeah, they are. Okay, I'm back. The little devil has been taken care of. Okay, congrats. Whoa. Who else has got That's- stuff? Uh, I removed the doors how my inter-urban car a few uh, Where was few it? Ago. Were they uh, removed via uh, what what they, method? They were inside the Soup. car. I moved them out beside it. Oh, okay. Did you summon up? Did you summon up the BFH? The BFH. What? BFH, it's tactical implement. Hang on, I'll write. I'll write down. The big the... effing hammer, probably. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's the BFW and the BFH. No, I think you're thinking of different... the BFG. <laughs> no. Also BFD. That. No. Uh, so we was able to find pictures from a book of the interurban cars, as it was a wig sign. Yay! Like, they're in the chat here. I found the picture of a interior of a sister to my car. So, that, that's going to come in handy when I get to redoing the interior in it. Jeez. It's currently a mess, but. I, I'm working to make sure that it's not a mess anymore. <laughs> Why would he? Oh. He took he took the initiative like, this is going to be a project. Yeah, I'm, uh, okay, I, that's that's actually pretty cool that you just got to spearhead a thing. Yeah, yeah. It's Why would it's it's as if you had you know, <laughs> the the uh, equivalent of you taking over like you into fifty or something. You know the the coach or combine or uh, whatever. Yeah. I, I would have taken over 50. We don't have the budget for it, though. Yeah. I know five or six guys that would have taken over 50. There's no budget for it. <laughs> well, we don't no have budget. money for anything. Well, there's no budget for this, but I'm still doing work on it. I wait. I, I have another piece of news. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, Pennsylvania Railroad 4666 ran its first revenue run on its new home on the island town of Auburn a few weeks ago. Wait, let me see. Uh, oh, that's the uh, that's the little thing, right? Doodle bug. The doodle, doodle bug. bug. Yes. Doodle bug. Uh, final uh, Railpace uh, magazine, which some East Coast people may know of, the 
pretty big magazine that you still see here, and they had their annual picnic. And they chartered 206 with the regular excursion consist, consisting of, you know, wagon, uh, CNO, 21, or, or, you know, uh, Conrail, 21, 211.65, uh, I think, no, uh, black car, and then the Penzi cabin car, they did a couple of front buys out of the Grove, had lunch, and then came back on the doodle bug, had to stop photos everywhere, here and there. Uh, the store needs paint, the interior is about, like, 98% done. Uh, they were supposed to have one of their CNJ coaches, which actually were from the 113 group. Uh, they were supposed to have one of them done, but that is not done yet. Uh, when I was there last, which was the beginning of the month, there were no seats inside of it. The ceiling was somewhat done to an extent, and they were still standing down the outside of it and uh, covering it for paint. So. Update there. Oh, and also the Warner Baldwin is somewhat coming along. It's It's getting there. Kind of, not really. Same thing with we had a wing on six eleven. It's kind of there. Mm. Uh, I know. It, I used to have the home now. Well, sheds are uh, to to reiterate. Sheds are good. Yeah. <laughs> well, it do, no, it doesn't have a shed. It's outside. But no, it's wrong. Diesels are a lot better than stuff. <laughs> Although it's not. Good. You can keep them outside and they won't, things won't break as much. As much. Yeah. Okay. So, what? I've, I've actually got a thing. Jader. Hey, um, speaking of things in Pennsylvania. And I probably should have wrapped around to this when I talked about 3713, but at Steamtown, the Railfest Grand Marshal has been announced. Uh, uh, Railfest 2016, an annual celebration of railroading past, present, and future that is held on the Saturday and Sunday of Labor Day weekend at the Steamtown National Historic Site will take place on September 3rd and 4th. Well, I mean, I figured that'd be pretty self-explanatory. Anyways, the park announced today Mr. Chamber... Er, nah, Mr. Charles Liberto has been named Grand Marshal for this year's event. Man, that dude's last name is almost Liberty. America. Uh, uh, Mr. Liberto will be honored at an event opening ceremony on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock a.m. hosted by Park Superintendent Deborah Conway. So... I should be going to that this year, actually. Probably not the first day, the second day, probably. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty cool. I've talked a little bit about what Railfest is... Uh, is going to include this year, and as always, it's something worth checking out. Oh yeah, I mean, I wish I would have got could have gone last year with uh, 765 there, but oh yeah. well, can I do? You got school tomorrow, Wybold? Yes. Jeez. Yeah, you poor thing. Jeez, you start early out there. Holy shit. Uh huh. Why are you starting on a Tuesday? I have no well because the freshman had uh, orientation day today. Not losers. Uh, right, well, okay. With versus what? Okay, I'll yeah. I'll right. through my news real fast. Okay, go. All right, Oregon Coast Scenic is when the Oregon Coast Qualo October something like fifteenth between Capaldi and. Walkway. Mm -hmm. uh, CSR has officially performed their first test of bio coal on the steam locomotive. It was a 15 inch gauge Sioux train, but still. <laughs> it, it, it was, in fact, a test. It was, in fact, a test. Sumter Valley got wobbed. What? <laughs> No, they had a train wobble we had been. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was gonna be, I was everybody. really excited for a minute there. <laughs> <laughs> um San Pacific Cross Mafi ninety ten has been getting parts for the wheel motor. Which I've heard that is one of the last things they need to do on there. I may I may be wrong, but 
that, that's one of the things that they're doing to go closer to fully operate itself. All right, I'm I'm interested to see that thing run. Oh yeah, I'm too. Okay, let me uh, let me bang out my last thing. Oh, do you have more? Yeah, I got one. Uh, oh my god! All right, go. Oh well, free. Thirty oh, seconds. No. No. Tick tick tick. <laughs> Oh, wait, we were at the Wigan Electric Railway Museum of Wigs, and we offered two into urban cars. That is sim one that's the sister to the one that we currently have. The other one fell apart on the truck <laughs> when we tried the truck over here. Great. From where it nice. was, 1981. Whoops. No, no, it wasn't our fault. It was it the two way right there. <laughs> Like, as you were driving down the road. As we were pouring out of the spot. <laughs> nice. It fell apart. And that is the story of why we only have one today. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah. yeah. That's about all there is to say, really. Just I also got... This is what happens. This is what's going to happen if they ever try to move that Shay at Steep Town. Yeah. It'll the load on the truck. Well, it'll yeah. roll off of no, it. No, it's the load on the truck. The ground. No, no, no. The load in on the truck. Put it. Put the truck and drive, and it just. Poof. Hey man, let's go. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it also has to make the echoey noises of the yeah. bass. Don't forget that. It's going back to nature, man. <laughs> yeah. Fucking nature. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, I, I got offered a job at Wham and Story Trolley recently. Hey. Full time, well, part time. Because we're doing a whole bunch of track work up in WSD. Oh, neat. And I thought about it, but. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next year I'll do it. This is a bit of a mess. I, I used to get promoted to a Class 1 Motor Man. Congratulations. On oh, shit. Bravo, so, so now I'm qualified to operate pieces of equipment without supervision. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey. Get away. Boom. So, now sure, if I want to... Sure. <laughs> In other news, the stuff's exploded. Yeah. Now, if I went to. Uh, the Oregon Electric Rare Museum has suffered a deadly derailment. Yeah. Yeah, the steeple cab. And derailed. it exploded. A deadly fender <laughs> bender. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Could, could be worse. Could be the amount of deep poles that we had during steam up. <laughs> this oh, yeah, one corner kept off. giving us a hiccup and derailing us. Once every time we went this direction, <laughs> it it accepts. It's Pretty like it's a train club. You go into staging one way, it's mm. fine. Going the, <laughs> go the other way, everything falls off and you short out yeah. the layout. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Except for you don't short out the layout. You, you you just go off of the pole. All right? Can we? Yeah, let's. Can we do like right. versus? I've yeah, got one more, over. and that's uh, from Essex. So Essex has the has a Concert Express newly added, the East Haddam Concert Express. So take advantage of this unique opportunity to travel the lower Connecticut River Valley aboard vintage coach cars on your way to enjoy the Music on the River series concerts on the South Lawn at Goodspeed Opera House. So <laughs> there's the Monday, August 8th, uh, whoops, is the Heartbeat Dixieland Jazz Band followed by the Viva Questrel the following Monday. I have no idea what that is. Uh, high energy multicultural music group make up, made up of members of North and South America that performs music of the Americas as it truly is today. An eclectic mixture of traditional folkloric and pop themes performed on a fascinating array of ancient and modern instruments. That sounds completely ridiculous, but probably really entertaining. Anyways, mm. uh, followed by Monday, August 22nd, James Montgomery Blues, and uh, that is, as you might expect, plenty of blues. So, oh yeah, we'd never guess. Mm -hmm. 
That's a $15 round trip. Uh, and it sounds like it could be pretty cool. So if you want to ride the train and listen to music, there's your ticket on the Essex Steam Train and Riverboat. Now, moving on, anybody else got any last bits of news to cover before we go? I, I, have, I have stuff, but it's no big deal. It's, it's nothing. Okay. Cool. Well, what about... Oh, never mind. He's not on the dock. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm sitting in my kitchen with the phone hooked into the wall. Everybody's asleep. I'm exhausted. I want to go to bed. Dude, it's not even 10 o'clock. I understand that, but I've got to get up. I was up early this morning, and I've got to get up early tomorrow. Yeah, um, because school. That, that, and I was able to literally get nothing that I needed to get accomplished, accomplished today, because the internet went out. And when the internet went out, it took the TV and the phone with it. I mean, I'm sure the TV and the phone, I'm sure the TV had a lot to do with you getting stuff done. Well, you know. <laughs> he, he could bing swat. So, <laughs> So sorry that I'm being a little bit, like, quiet and, like, typing messages. Usually I wouldn't complain, but come on, let's, can we pick it up, please? Yeah. All right, so we've got... Weibold. Weibold. I don't know. What, what are we What are we versing? Oh, you want me to do the interlude? I'm supposed to say yeah, the thing. I don't, I don't have my microphone. I can't do it, and everybody's asleep. Let's do it. Locomotive, locomotive versus. versus. Okay, cool. Locomotive <laughs> versus. ASMR locomotive versus. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was an intelligible cat suit right there. It's a really, it was a really angry wasp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My voice. All right, so in one corner, who's who's doing these? By the way, who's representing them? Uh, I'm representing. What are we doing? The, the, I'll do the Northern Pacific. We're, we're doing. Uh, the Northern Pacific 2882, uh, or 2884, <laughs> sorry, the Yellowstone, versus the Cab Pacific Forward. Cap. Okay, uh, then I'm I, not it. Not it. <laughs> not it. I'll get the Trader Tribune, so that I. Okay. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, right. SB, because Scott Manley. Hold on. Yeah. But, uh, because of the uh, character that never was. <laughs> yeah. Thank okay, let me God. get out. Let me get out my scorer. He, he got he, so close to the price of base in in that <laughs> dock. In the Iron Horseman. <laughs> so close. Oops. Oh God! It just omitted the point. Anyways, okay. So, who should go first? Uh, I'll go first. Milky, when were you built? I was built in. Got screwed. Nineteen forty-four. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Nineteen twenty-eight. Jesus Christ! You didn't. You, you expected to win that? Oh wait, wait, wait! My first one was built in 1943, but Damn. you still, you still win by a lot, by like 20 years. I'm sorry, Steam locomotives have them all categorized into oh, you classes. No, but which class are you doing? I'm doing the AC 12. Okay. All right. Um. I need to pull up a separate page for those. Okay. It, yeah, it's your ball. Oh wait. How many were built? Eleven. Twenty. Oh. I'm screwed. <laughs> oh. Um. But hmm. what, what else do I want to go with this? I, I'm going to do this because you're a Western engine, and I'm assuming that you also this. What's your fuel capacity for your tender? Uh, 27 tons of coal and 21,200 21, gallons of water. Oh, you oh, you won those. Oh, oh God. Oh. No, no. Okay, just water. Uh, Rose okay, 22,000 <laughs> 22, gallons. God damn it. Oh, my God. Way to be those guys, SP. We're coming all the way back around. Back to the original way to be those guys. Well, hmm. we're screwed. Okay, what's your, <laughs> minimum, <laughs> what's your minimum weight of oil? I'm curious. 116 pounds. 111 pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> I should have done the friggin' DM and IR Yellowstones. I would, are, see, if you are, did the DM and IR ones, you'd have my support. Yeah, the, 
Mm-hmm. They look better right. too. They, these are kind of. I mean, they're kind of derpy looking. At least the front. They're ends. a little bit derp. Yeah. I really okay. don't have any strong feelings the other way or the other toward any of them, so I'm kind of both of them. And that's not because of the thing I posted in the chat, actually. Are you certain? Whatever. I have no strong feelings I'll one way or the other. My gut says maybe. This, I'm, mm. I'm posting pictures of the two of them, by the way. But yeah, oh. I don't. Uh, I, how many? I got, how much was the divide in years? About thirty years between these two yeah. engines. About yeah. uh, what was it? Nineteen. Hang on, I'm gonna math. Oh my god, it's about thirty years. Close enough. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's uh. Like Yellowstone was pretty close to well tips of. All right. What you know, became the ACHO. So, Sixteen years. What? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you- 1928 to 1944. Oh, 28. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I have a question. Hmm? Tractive effort. Okay, tractive effort. 123,364 pounds. I think I win something. 145,930 pounds. All right. So oh, here's, here's the thing, by the way. So we had a... Uh, we had a thing that I realized if you just play completely defensively in locomotive versus, it kind of defeats the purpose because then you don't say anything. So uh, mm. now, Milky, you still have the ball, but now that he won one, you have to ask a question. Oh. Or else the ball will be forfeited to him. What is your superheater or superheating surface? Right. 3,219 square feet. 2,616 square feet. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jader, continue. Okay. Uh, what's your firebox area? Well, 513 square feet. 832 square feet. Well. Wow. That's actually quite small. All right. Great area. Great area. 139 square feet. 182 square feet. 182. They're going to right. Milky. What? Isn't that yours? Wait, no, I don't. The ball. 39. Uh, oh, sorry. Back feeding surface. I miss. I miss thought. Um, a back repeating surface. Yeah. 6,505 square feet. 7,300... Wow. 7,606... Wow. 7,673 feet. Alright, the, the score is now 5 to 4 in favor of the Northern Pacific Yellowstone. Okay, we did superheating surface. Combined heating surface. Combined heating surface. 9,121 square feet. 10,892 square feet. Over ten thousand. These are pretty close. Yeah. yeah. I, they're I'm both really big I, engines. I mean, they're they're essentially just one is the other one in reverse. Yeah. Pretty much. I, I very well could have done the same Pacific HC nine up against them, which was the Yellowstone. But <laughs> yeah, you could have. All right. Uh, evaporative heating surface slash cylinder volume. Or that's divided by guys. Divided by. Oh, sorry. Divided by cylinder <laughs> 194. volume. One hundred ninety four Wait, what was it? 194? 195.10. Oh my god. <laughs> Way to be those guys. <laughs> <Northern Pacific. laughs> you guys are just being dicks to one another. Yep. Okay, so continue. Right, uh, Knock them out. Um, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Factor of adhesion. Four point three one. Three point eight three. I think I'm closer. Yeah, you uh, are closer. Yay. You both aren't great, but you're closer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh cylinders. I believe the cylinders. Cylinders. Um twenty four by thirty two. 26 by 32. Hey! Well, goddammit. 
Jesus Christ. Who I was thinking it was going to be a total loss. Sentence. I thought it was too after the first few because I figured, oh, it's just a massively newer engine. It's going to just beat it out and everything. But nope, it's got the little bit of an advantage. All right, um, boiler pressure. You no. probably beat me here. All right. 250 PSI. Oh, damn it. 250. Uh, all right, Bogey gets the ball. All right. Oh, hey, um, I really did that. I have a question. Hmm. Oh. Ba, ba, da, ba. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Robert, Robert Lamus seen his power power competition. <laughs> <laughs> a stat that can make or break a come out first. We'll see. We'll see if because these five points they could either get you tied <laughs> again or they could put the. Northern Pacific engine so yeah, much good. higher. Okay. It's all right. I got style points, trips and case. Oh my god. I don't have. Okay. Um, right. My Robert Lay Messina power computation 45,500. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. 34,000. Oh man. <laughs> Get right. All right, Milky, you gotta ask a question on something. He, he did better than me. I know, he, but he, but I was the one who asked that question. Oh, uh, so he doesn't get the ball uh, from that, but you have to ask something. How will you MT? Eight hundred sixty-three point sixty-seven. Eight hundred fifty-four point eighteen. Wait, what was what was that? Jader, what did you say? Mine was 863.67. And look, yours was? 854.8. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was so close. Okay, okay. Jader, continue, I guess. Continue the beating. Okay. Same as above plus superhero percentage. 44,828. 59,150. Oh my god. You are, oh. you are screwed. <laughs> same as above, but substitute box area for gray area. No, don't worry, I have style points to save me. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. 165,443. Oh my god. 283,400. <laughs> uh, okay, cap board sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're realizing from all this. It, it's not worth all the hype. It, it sucks. It, it See, I already knew that. The, these are worse than the AC4s that came before them. That's because they decided to run them backwards, idiots. Cap forward. Well, I got a few style Cap points for you. <laughs> Alright, uh. Power L1. Power L1. 25,770... Er, 51. 20 what thousand? 25,751. 27,369. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Now it's 14 to 4. You were screwed. Actually, no, it should be 14 to 5. No, wait, no. No, it's not fourteen to five because Milk got the ball back on a, you know, yeah. on a even tie. Rip Milky. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is a massacre. Yeah. Should I keep going or? I you mean, know, stop, you can keep going if you feel like it. <laughs> yeah. I feel free to find shooting, but right, uh, driver die. Don't be alive. You're not still alive. Bye. Driver diameter. Driver diameter sixty three point fifty. Yeah, damn it. Oh no. What? Sixty three inches even. Oh my god, <laughs> you're kidding me. And that's just where the cat boy we make the cut. <laughs> yeah, but what? <laughs> you're well, running out of done. you're running out of stats. Well we haven't done the months of the engine weight in Oh my oh, god. That's true. <laughs> okay, let's go. We haven't done any of that except for the 
Try the wheelbase. 16.70, 16 and three quarters feet. I have been point three three. Damn it. Wait, 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 wait. What? No. Hold on. No. Wait, no. what? Go, go, go no. back, go back. What is that? Driver wheelbase? Yeah. Mil Milky would get it because shorty oh. equals tighter yeah. turns. Oh, I'll wait. Uh, also, how is your driver wheelbase so spread out compared to his? Where does the, where do those extra feet come from? I don't know. You have smaller wheels. <laughs> By half an inch. I think they're just spaced out more. Oh my god. Like, okay, so Moki gets that one. I don't get it. <laughs> oh wait, what's your engine wheelbase? Six six point six six. Sixty seven point twenty five. Oh. Well, shit. No, sixty oh. that smaller is better. Oh wait. Six 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 six. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Satan takes this Satan one. Alright, uh Wait on drivers. Wait on drivers. Five hundred and thirty one thousand seven hundred pounds. Five hundred fifty eight thousand nine hundred pounds. Wait. I guess I'd, I were you were you slightly less heavy, Milky? Yeah. Okay, you get that one. Oh damn it. Less weight is good, it means less broken things. Engine weight. Uh Seven hundred twenty-three thousand four hundred pounds. Six hundred and fifty-seven thousand nine hundred pounds. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh shit! Oh, it's fifteen tender, to eight. Tender lightweight. Tender lightweight. Why under inch? Four hundred, four hundred two thousand pounds even. Three hundred twenty thousand pounds even. Ooh. Holy crap! That's a, that's a light tender. Light tender. tender. Well, when you don't have to carry coal, it's right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyways. Total engine and tender weight. Right. Okay. <laughs> this is the, I already know I win this one. <laughs> yeah. All right. But 1, go ahead. 1,125,400 <laughs> pounds. All right, 977,800 pounds. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, where's your uh, driving wheelbase to overall engine wheelbase? I'm curious. Point two five. <laughs> Point seventeen. Wow. God. Wow. Okay. Uh, alright. Valve gear. That's small. What's your valve gear? Valve gear. Wall shorts. Damn it. Wall shorts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? Walsh here. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. I'm confused as to who had the ball and who asked that question. Nogi <laughs> had the ball, I just wanted, I just wanted hey. to know. Hey, okay. Well, it's a pointless question anyways. Yeah. Nogi, you continue having the ball because that was an illegitimately asked question. Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> do I ask? Um, how many Northern Pacific Yellowstones are still around? <laughs> um... <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Jader. <laughs> Jader. I'm gonna guess the answer is zero. Probably. If somebody you know has any ideas with... other than that. I I don't think there's any of what... You have one and a half, Milky. <laughs> you, you, the half you doesn't know count. What... out there? There's a oh, tender. Wait, one... Yeah. Well, no, there's a boy or two one, but it's not this. Oh. That, so there's, that's, that's a technicality on its own, but... So there's one. God damn it. Yeah, there is one in at the California State Railroad Museum. And you can get up in the cab. <laughs> that is... Okay. Uh... It, it's one of the things that I want to do when I make it out to California at some point. <laughs> go visit TBA. Yeah. Hmm. I'm huge. I can't go anywhere and I'm huge. Alright, may I go for a style point, Hugh? Sure. My cab... It's in the front. 
<laughs> no. It God damn it. Proof, it made yeah. clue visibility easy. It picked up a tape of clue. There. It does make visibility easy. Your cab is in the front. No Thank shit. It's slightly harder with all that being there. Okay. What did you um, do when you oil fired? It was easy in the fire. Yes, it ben. was easy in the fire. I will say that's because it's oil, but for like the steam lines and the connections with the throttle and all that, it makes it a little bit harder to hook them up. I do not give my style plan for the front cab. I mean, it did keep them alive. Yeah. yeah that is pretty important. It, it kept crews safe from the smoke that constantly suffocated them on Dono Pass. Sure. Let's go with that. They'll live. Okay, um, let's see, the, oh, I, um, Chris, I feel like this will be a style point from you. The large, these, okay. these 2884s had extremely large fireboxes for the, for the low, for the low calorie rosebud cold of the Northern Pacific used to run these things. I do not know how, what, how that cold performed or anything like that, so I cannot give it to that, but damn it, stoker. What? I'm assuming I'm going out on the limb here, but I'm assuming it has a stoker. I mean, listen, I'm going to say it has a stoker, considering the firebox is like, effing massive. Yeah, it covers I'm, two I'm totally drive wheels, so stoker. probably. I, I think I have one as well. But, uh, I will. I will give. Uh, what's the? Do any parts? Were any parts standard, or were any parts like uh, you know, like, different? I have no idea. Fundamentally, the, the Southern Pacific AC-10 food chubs were practically the same thing. Well, we're talking but about the clubs. I, I know, but I, I'm saying that there could potentially be more parts that could well, be yes, swapped in their chains. Most likely, there are many different, like, many different, uh, you know, custom parts for the locomotives on them, which doesn't really make all that special, but you know, I'm assuming like the throttle was probably rigged up the its own separate way and all that. Yeah. I don't exactly. The, the cab was the, the cab was redesigned to be operated from four phase position. Yes. Yeah. Comfy seats. Which one has the more comfy seats? <laughs> God well, damn you it! Can still, well, you can still get in mine, so. Well, and the guy but, does it, but does it have a steam line plumbed for uh, passenger service? It doesn't look. Yeah, wait a minute. Doesn't have that. Hang on. Do the cab ports have a fully enclosed cab? Yes. Well, actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. Do those doors close? Because yes. it doesn't look like they close. Yes, they do. Okay. Okay. Is I'm guessing that. I'm guessing that, that, that's, guessing a, that that's a style be. point. That's comfy. Wait. That's comfy cab. Yeah, these no, you no. just have the normal yeah. box. There, there's a photo of the door equips. Too. I'm kind of surprised these don't have all of their cabs. Nah, I just, it's it's understandable. But uh, do, do they uh do the windows open? Yes. Yes. Uh, I think so. Well, I know I'm assuming yours does because yours is special. I mean, it looks like the windows at least slide half open, like the back. Slides yeah, to yeah. The they, they like do. Yeah. I mean, on the Northern Pacific thing, I would, I would figure that the windows open. Do either of you guys have doors to the running board? Oh, I yeah. think mm -hmm. I do. Is there a decent? I, I'm going to try and find the good overhead. That doesn't look like a door. That right. doesn't look. What the hell is one of the door there? Oh, maybe, maybe That's on one end I had it. That's not a door. No, I don't. I don't think we did. I thought there's that like, there's like the little it. windows. Yeah, I, I think we have those. Okay, well, that means it's fifteen to fifteen. I All mean, right. Man, go for a nice style point. Uh, perhaps, yeah. I had a new horn. <laughs> You did have the air horn. That is true. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. They do not belong in steam engines. Mm -hmm. 
It's 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 unique. It is unique, and that's why it's a style point. Alright, um... Yeah, so now it's 15 to 16. Can you, can you come back from this one? Are these the... I'm trying to find... Let's see. Oh. Can I save myself from this mess? <laughs> You, you did save yourself, Milky. You're you're up sixteen to fifteen. Um, hmm. I, I'm trying to look at more pictures. From what I can gather, these are the first two eight eight fours ever built. Really? I'll give my style a point for that for being the first. Right. Right. Yeah. More like. Where were they built cool. at? Yeah, yeah. Where, who was the builders? Who was the builders? Baldwin. Damn it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Let's say if one was a lima, then that that's kind of yeah. Why are these not li limas good for you? Why are these not lima? Baldwin, Baldwin is top of the list always. Mm. It goes Baldwin and then lima and then Alco and then everybody else. Everybody Alco, else. Top. Then Baldwin, then lima, then everyone else. Wait, what's at the top? No. Alco. No. American. Logo no, Alco, Alco is not at the top. Al Alco is not at the top. But can it's American. Shut up. Yeah, but the they're also Alco. So. Oh, oh wait, well, I hate Alco so much. I don't. I don't hate them. It's just that I have to trust my friends around a nuclear reactor that they built. So. I'm a little bit leery. Hmm. Oh wait, may I go for oh. the style point that I was the final articulate class built for the Sony Pacific. Oh wait, do we have like retirement dates? Oh, I do. Uh oh, shit! I'll bet you Milky wins. So it's sixteen to sixteen right now, right? September twenty fourth, nineteen fifty eight. Mm. That's really specific. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, I can't find. I'll one. bet Milky wins. It's nineteen fifty eight. Was the Northern Pacific still running steam in nineteen fifty eight? Actually, uh, I were. I think they maybe? still. I'm not sure. I don't think they were. Well, I'm not. I, I think they uh, were. I'll, I'll check. But and to Google. Think, yeah. To gaggle. Northern Pacific Railroad. Steam locomotive retirements. Um. Yeah, they were the first, but would they do the apps? Uh, okay, they, there's just a big list up there. Wait. Uh, apparently, yeah. No, I, I can't find the retirement date on them. But knowing Northern Pacific, it's probably 55. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I found dates. Are you dead? Oh, wait. The Alco one was retired in 1952, and the Baldwin ones were retired 1953 to 1957. Rip. Okay. So, Scott Sterling is up 17 to yeah. 16. Good. Okay, I'm just now looking at this big Wikipedia thing. It has the retirement dates for everything. That's pretty cool. I wonder if there's more you know, databases like this for more railroads. I like this. Um, yeah, I like it this. Okay. In the the last surviving cab forward forty two ninety four was also the last steam locomotive built for Southern Pacific. Hmm. They did okay, not. Fine. Oops, I gave you two points for that by accident. Okay, votes. Yeah, I I think I think uh, yeah, this, play, I, I, this this went I'm one way, out. this went one way, and then it went the other way, and then it went back the first way. And then, oh. and then to come back. <laughs> uh, it the uh, the cab forward has has won, eighteen to sixteen. I would take that. Damn. One way. It, that was well, really close. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. 
It, it was much more closer than I expected it to be. Much more closer. Mm-hmm. And I chose the nickel plate Yellowstone. <laughs> oh yeah, you just set it up to lose, huh? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Remember, remember I, that. I, I, remember that time. Remember that time. I thought, uh, you went to fifty-one was gonna be a good match for. Yeah. The, <laughs> the the skunk train. The Chota, yeah. The Chota but, motive, and then it crushed it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. one word. Superheating. <laughs> yeah. Like seriously. Yeah. So that's uh that's that eighteen to sixteen, yeah. and so. Superheating. Now what about um what about by the votes? Weibold voted for the cab forward. I Weibold voted for it, even though he's gone. Yeah. Hey, Chris. I I vote for the Yellowstone. Yeah, I have to vote for the Yellowstone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think the cab forward is uh, overhyped. It's not overhyped, but it just it's it's not, innovative. It's really it's stupid, innovative. Good idea, but it's not one at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like there there weren't really the greatest things. They were. <laughs> no, I, they weren't. I, as I, evidence I, as evidence by the fact that it only almost got beaten by an identical engine twenty years older. Okay, well, I, I could have just Steve Story done the trend to that, but I think another. Well, I mean, thing. I mean, sure, you could have, and you might have won because it wasn't faced. Or in the, the or the eight before would have been a little bit better. Because it wasn't faced in the wrong direction. Well, it was faced in the right direction for not suffocating crews, but uh-huh. that's the other point. The, the crews, the crews just exactly. needed to get better breath training. Well, they wore gas masks on the <laughs> old Arctic. Maybe they should just be wear like be like the seven sixty five crew and wear gas masks. That's all you need to do. That's what they did, and they didn't want to do that, so they built nope. the cab forward. It's for like one tunnel. You put it on, and you, that's it. They had, yeah, but you need, you need had scuba Donald equipment. Donner Pass had twenty five miles of snow tunnel. <laughs> snow tunnel, snow shed. Snow tunnel, snow shed. I'm talking the same thing. It's Wait. the it's Wait. the vein that keeps snow off the track. No, this would probably get correct. I like it's Fukushima. <laughs> Boom. All right. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, on to the next section. I'm actually going to skip over most of mine because I want to tell these stories when Weibold's around and he already passed out. Hmm. Can I do? Uh, can I do mine first? Because I'm kind of. Absolutely. You're tired Again. as well, too? Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's go. All right. All right. So, for the last three days, I've been atten- or I was attending the, uh, the Ohio State Fair running trains for the COMRC. I'm going to start dumping pictures in the chat. And except for Friday, where there, there were a few other youth members, Saturday, there was one other, uh, one of the other youth members working. I was the only I was the only youth member working the any of the working the uh, displays. Hmm. Hobby the hobby is in good hands. Uh, yeah. I remember a couple people. As uh, long as they're that. as long as they're your hands, you can do it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I didn't rear end anybody, so that's good. Um. Yeah, good job, <clears throat> Max. <clears throat> uh, oh, I was talking about me, David. Uh, I'm trying to remember the guy that rear-ended all that stuff, but both right. TJ uh, and I rear-ended someone in the recent operating session. Oh. God damn it! Yeah, that was fun. Right. Well, uh, Friday, Friday was just kind. Of, Friday was kind of boring, so I'll skip over that. Uh, Saturday, what happened on Saturday? I mean, I had my operating session. Again, I'm going to save my stories, though, because I do want TJ to be here for them as well. So maybe next time, See, between now and the 060 off. Uh, and I'll talk I'll talk about Sunday, because it, it's the one I can remember the most. Right, so... On Sunday, I get there, and the only other person there was Kurt, and we were just... We spent maybe a half hour or so cleaning the track... 
Hmm. And I learned to not use the uh, the track eraser blocks because they just kind of they just kind of push you know dirt and crap around. Hmm. Oh, so, oh, did you clean know, so the track? Use yeah. The yeah. yeah. No, we got uh, paper towels, soaked them with uh, rubbing alcohol, and just went along the uh, that the rails, and they got a lot of crap off. Ink erasers tend to work very well. They don't damage the rails. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about using paper towels is if you like drag them on the ties, it just shreds the towel. Yeah, that's why it does. That's what I'm saying. You get get an ink eraser. Yeah. Oh, there was there was that uh, one of the uh, one of the adult members brought some of his seven and a half gauge stuff and put it on display. This is a very Ooh. interesting paint scheme on this SP box car. Right. It, it's very pointy. <laughs> I, it, I it was it was uh, actual May. <laughs> it was um. I think when Sun Pacific was trying to get into autos. They were trying to get into the auto zone. Huh. Right. Get in the zone. In the zone. Auto zone. And then they this? called them Bente box cars. This looks like it's anyway. a few piece in an art gallery. Oh no, it was Bente pack. Hmm. Art. Right. Um. Let's see. Yeah. You know, I. Once we got the track cleaned, I uh, took out my chassis Jeep, ran that for maybe an hour or so straight, didn't overheat. Mm-hmm. So it, it hasn't failed me yet. If it can handle running, running for an hour or two straight at the fair, it can handle anything. That shouldn't count, some, though. I know. Oh, yeah, and then uh, at noon, one of, the, uh, one of the other members shows up that I've never met. There's... Oh, oh shoot! How many? I think there's, if I'm right, like seventy members, something like that. Anyway, this guy shows up, and he had, or he had two Japanese steam engines that I forgot to take. I didn't get pictures of, which is kind of a shame. I one Eric asked me for pictures of them, mm. but he had that and the uh, Shinkansen. Or whatever, whatever kind of Japanese bullet train this is. Ow! And it's just kind of cool seeing you know, you know our typical American trains is you know going really slow, and then you just have this just. Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Jeez. There's a picture of the. The arrows box car. Uh, of the prototype for my new box car that I got the swap me up in books. Ooh. Hi, Cube. Why is it H-Y? <laughs> I don't know. Sam Pacific tried to be hip. <laughs> they tried to be cool. Right, um... They, they tried to say, hey, we're still here. Cool. <laughs> we're not dead. Um, Don number four had his, uh... Had his old... Had his IC Mikado. He still has to put decals on it. But he had his IC Mikado running a, running a circus train. The engine on the flat car is the engine that's supposed to go with the circus train, but it's DC, so he couldn't run it. Mm. So he just ki- he just kind of zip tied it or twisty tied it to a flat car. <laughs> oh, I see. What is I've that engine? That. Wait, the the, the one Mikado? that's actually pulling it. Uh, it's some some IC Mikado. He's super detailed. He, he he's an IC nut from Illinois, so it kind of makes sense. Ah. Nice. Yeah. Um, I ran the sponsor train hmm. with two of uh, with two of Andy's uh, two of Andy's models. Mm-hmm. Pretty, what is with that box car with like donuts on the side? Box car with donuts on it. Wait a minute. Like the box car immediately behind the engines. It looks like mm-hmm. it has donuts on the side of it, but I can't tell. That's supposed to be for uh, Robbie's hobbies. It's a, uh, it's one of the, one of the three train like train slash hobby stores that's in the vicinity of in the vicinity of the club. Oh, okay. Yeah, the train station, Robbie's hobbies, and Moody Street trains. 
kind of a weird name, but it works. Yeah. But yeah, I ran I ran the sponsor train with uh, Andy's one of his dummy one of two dummy uh, Era Lock and F units, and then one of his sound va- one of two sound value Era Lock and of PAs or FAs, excuse me. Lack of money. <laughs> Lack of money. Lack of no, money. he has. Oh, he has loads of money. He's got, he's got a huge, he's got a huge tote, that is just full of engines. Yeah, yeah, and he, you know, he showed up at the fair. He's like, oh hey, hey Jacob, uh, here's the keys to my box. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to enjoy the fair. See ya. <laughs> okay, go Play ahead. train. Pretty much. I mean it. He, he likes me. Well, he likes me. Crap. I have. I, Jeez. I haven't crashed. Yet. I haven't broke any of his stuff yet. So that's good. Yeah. I mean, I yet. tried to run. Yeah, yet. I tried to run his little uh, his Pensy mogul with his Pensy mogul double double headed with my Southern mogul, mm. but the Pensy one wouldn't move for some reason. So. Huh. Mm. Because the southern one wasn't standard enough, didn't want to deal with it. I don't know, but <laughs> it um. Oh, should oh, I tell uh, them? Should I tell the the grand audience? Uh, I'm <laughs> yeah, not done. sure. I'm not done. I'm not done. Oh, yeah. The wonderful right, right, right. Yes, yes. Right. Um. Oh, I also did. I or I also did uh, dual wielding with the uh, Ninja Tracks. Yeah, the, the real sim. Shut up. The the, uh, the real simple like Digitrax throttles. I did dual dual wielding with those, mm. which is what I was gonna do with the uh, with the Muggles, but it didn't you know the Pensy one didn't work. Mm. Get out of trains. And then you know four o'clock rolls around and it's the end of my shift. Time to go home, mm. and I'm just getting ready to you know lift up the little lift up the rope so I can walk out of the. Uh, you know the the roped off area from the layout, and I just hear and then stop, 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 stop. I walk over to oh, the, no. the side of, yeah, one of the, <laughs> uh, the members hell? had two of his New Haven engines with like a <laughs> I don't know how many car train, and it derailed on a switch. Oh and, God! And a What Was it, what happened? Was he running backwards? No. It just all ran into the back of him? Jesus. I have no idea what been... happened, but yeah. Well, I was going to say, he must be going pretty quick for that to happen. He or was he going must have been pretty... running in reverse, or somebody ran he... into the back of him. Oh, he... no, he was on his own track, so oh. he must have been going too fast to pick to... Sw- one thing picked the switch, and then it... I kept saying that all the... like, like, And I kept saying that to some of the guests, too. Like, you know, They're like, how often do the, do the trains crash? Or can you make them crash? And like, well, we try and we try to avoid that, but it's but like not. one one thing derails and then it hits the fan, mm-hmm. and then everything I crashes into it. Were. Uh, where is it? It was causing confusion and delay, mm-hmm. as in holding up the circus train. Okay. So, uh, tell, tell them about the two foot. What? What I've been doing in the route. Oh, yeah. So. Overall, I though, uh, I. Lately, oh, uh, what? What? Oh, sorry. Overall, the Ohio State Fair was successful. Or, yeah. Overall, our, the club's visit to the Ohio State Fair, Fair was successful. Uh, it was really fun attending it. Met some great people, including a track worker from CSX, which I mentioned mentioned earlier about the Boogle Hall and the Sidewinders. <laughs> Which is totally not ridiculous. Yeah. Google Hall. It, it's pretty cool, though. Um, the hobby is in good hands. Come check us out at the uh, mm-hmm. the December open, the Christmas open houses that we're doing every weekend in December. Mm. Well, all right. Now that you're Soon done. TM visit. Oh, I see. Everybody got yeah. held up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, now, now, now Come check out the Comerc. I recently got trains. Managed yes. to help 
the episode after TV Gays and Theater decided to go. So yeah. I decided to get ready to try and help and do what I can. It went uh, ka-chink. <laughs> it went ka-chink. So, uh, I got the train, got the horse, et cetera, et cetera. I started looking at the group of games, like, well, oh, mess around with this if I can. And now, as of this point in time, as of recording this, there is a new town and station on the two foot gate. <laughs> a new industry, and all of the crossings that the that the uh, crosses are ATOS. Because why not? <laughs> I just hope they work. Well, yeah. yeah, I still need to go test that. Oh, uh, well, I can send videos through Skype. I didn't know that. Yeah, but it yeah. doesn't work. <laughs> oh. If not, like oh, Joey's can fix it. But there is a new town of. What? Breeders. I can I can never fucking remember the name. Um, Shining humans. Time. Humans. No. What? Not humans. Up new. A no. Lamau. Albany. Oh, no. Why is my alarm going off? No. What the hell? Oh, Bill. Uh, Bill. 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 So yeah, there's he's, that. Look out for that one. He's yeah, he's been working on the route instead of me, uh, mm. because I had to. Uh, it was it was time to go over Milky's route, and yeah. that was an interesting experience. Yeah, it was actually quite that, fun. Yeah, uh, I don't know what is going on. For Sunday driving next week, can we do the two foot? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> do a do a stock car train. Oh, uh, it's damn it. spoilers. Do a train on the two foot there. there. We could show. Oh my god, what the hell? Go train bowling. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. What is. What am I vibrating about? What's going on? I showed off quite a bit of the work that I've been doing on my route, the Westford and Whiteford Railway. Mm -hmm. So if you want to check that out, that's that's on my channel right now. And I've got screenshots of me on. My boots in a bit, which it's not being different. Yeah. Brendel, that's <laughs> yeah. the damn bit. That's it. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt, but. How about Brender? <laughs> thank you. Town of okay. Brendels. You can thank our resident paint person for that name. Resident <laughs> paint person. <laughs> if you're not. If... Yeah. Oh, I know. Okay, you can continue. I'm sorry. I just need to say that. <laughs> Great. Hey. Um, uh, on my Steam page, there's some screenshots of one of the operating sessions that I had between um, Prairie City, Bates, and then I then I went down Dixie Pass and went to Baker C. Dix. And food. There's also you playing GTA. Yeah. Oh, so much longer to do us. Shut up. Some interesting stuff happened to Grand Fidel, but that's not train <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, Ellis here saw the 113s. Is... Yes. Uh, we talked about that last time, because it was right on the heels of me doing... Uh, yeah, the... but you know, didn't say I did not know he did. I don't watch the terms. It's too yeah, damn it. Clearly. Like, it. It. <laughs> You're a terrible person. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, I'll watch some of them, but I won't watch all of them. Like, really, the zombie train is really the only thing I've ever watched. Right, hey. um. Alright, anyways. It, it, it was the zombie train in Terraria. Terraria bias. <laughs> but, yeah, we suck at Terraria. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Shut up, Jader. They got a new update coming out. Oh, uh, Tilted. CTM. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, oh, I've got anything it. else? Uh, I, I have some Garrett. I have some G mod. Okay, hit it. So, so this morning I got on Garrett's mod, decided, you know, trying to think of something to do. Didn't entirely feel like working on a steam engine, so I pull out one of my putting central engines. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make the paint scheme a bit different. So I added, so you know, took out the props and I added yellow. I added a yellow nose with uh, its slope going down the uh, sides of the nose and the 
in the front part of the engine, right in front of the right in front of the cab. Go on my steam pigeon, you'll be able to see it. Mm. Currently, I've only put it on the GP38 oh. and the SD40. You know, I know it's kind of a little bit late. Oh. <laughs> Point. Say, I do. I do have some nose. I do have nose. You have, you have nose. Okay. Look out! He, look out! He's got a nose. <laughs> really well. Anyway, uh, I have. Uh, I think Northern 425 will also be pulling uh, along the the Labor Day thing. It will also be pulling the uh, whole trip as usual for a quick in October and one third some really far away yeah I can't hear him I mean, this, I don't know well at any rate uh, no uh, 113 will be pulling Santa Claus trips in December or possibly 425 like we don't know yet mm-hmm. I don't know what's happening to be honest with you uh Bud car trips are coming back up there's one on the August 13th and I think the 28th of August I think they're I think they're both the North Reading. I'm not quite sure, but uh, those are coming up. And uh, let me what else is going on? Uh, excuse me. Uh, something else. Oh, uh, point one two. Point one two progressing slowly, getting that. Okay. This is completely the wrong section. I yeah. know. Good luck. I, 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 I always gave him the point good for good you. Good job. Good job, Milky. <laughs> I'm remembering it now. Yeah, good Cut. job. Okay, continue. Uh, Everybody else second. with more relevant news. Right. Things, uh, Shut up. Not you. Oh, I have one more thing about 2100. Fine, what? Do you want another point? Uh, the yeah. Hydra was passed. I don't Ooh. know running it yet, but the, they passed the Hydra. Well, that's good to hear. Hey. While we're writing stuff, go. Right. Uh, hey, we layout. Can, uh, oh, sorry. Layout right. plan. Right, I have completed my layout planning. Oh, I yeah. Don't. I don't have a picture of it on me ha- or handy right now. I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll go into Scarm and have one ready for the next terminus. Yeah. Uh, I'm planning to get an Economy decoder for the mo- for my mogul. And ho- hopefully Wobble can walk me through installing that because I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> like, how do I decode her? Yeah, I have no idea how to do it either. I, I wouldn't need to figure that out when I get my um, SD9 frame on, or SD9 cell on the frame. <laughs> yeah, um, and I'm just, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to decide on a new engine to purchase. I'm thinking it's. E- I'm either thinking of Nathan Genesis SD45 uh, Conrail, ew, or a uh, or something some something off of the Elias refurbished page. Yes, one of their steam engines. Uh, there's a there's a Paragon Two Santa Fe Pacific. There was a Santa Fe. There were two Santa Fe Northerns, and every time I saw them on here, they they've sold out. You know, they sold within like a few hours. So those, like, like you know, I pull this up in the morning, and you know, hey, Santa Fe Northern. I pulled on, pull, pull this up at you know, you know, at noon. Oh, it's gone. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's not there anymore. That's yeah. what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Santa Fe Northern to be Yeah. In my model. Oh hey, they, oh hey, they sold one of the T ones too. Uh, my T one bitter. I might. Yes. Don't buy the. No, get a Johnson. One. Eh. No, we're talking about the other T one. Buy a T one, not a T dash one. Shut up! It's, it's pronounced T one. The dash is silent. Yeah, except not when you're not when you're no, trying to, to tell apart a T one from a T one. We'll just say Reading T one. No, it's too much. Reading T dash. I'll get a Reading. T- I'm thinking of a Reading T dash one. There. Okay. You're happy. Oh. Shut up. No, I'm not. <laughs> just, just say one. <laughs> Shut up. Please, I'll give you twenty bucks. Chris. Also, as a as a it's as a side note, bucks. there's another channel out there that does locomotive versus like stuff, <laughs> and they did a they did a video on fifty five fifty versus 
or, you know, PRR 5550 versus Redding uh, 2124, so Chris. Uh, and I posted a comment on that video <laughs> from the Iron Horseman account as Johnson. So, I'm gonna <laughs> link. Oh my god, I'm going to forget. I'm gonna my link back. to this video. Fourth wall, that JPEG. <laughs> I'm gonna link to this video in the cargoes. Uh,. And we'll see, I, I didn't watch the video, but we'll see when we eventually do the T1 versus the T-1 here on Locomotive Versus. Uh, we'll see if we get a different result. Which, if it isn't, you're going to have to call it how it's supposed to be called. No. no. Now, I, I, hey. I, I, I'm sorry, actually, it is what it's supposed to be called. I don't know what you're talking about. No, the dash is silent. Reading pronounced yeah, there not, though. Dash, uh, uh, oh, okay. We get it. I'm just Christ. reading it. I don't know what you're for, on about. For Christ's sake, we get it. Uh, okay, are you done? I don't get it. There's a video in the chat. Okay. okay. In this can, next... can, I, can I read the can I read the chat? Can I read the thing? No, no. Let the audience read the comment. Oh, that means but that means I gotta go to work. Oh, for fuck's sake, Chris. Just drop. Just shut up. Just walk. What is? You know what? I'm Chris, here. what is the average view time, Ellis, on this? On on the podcast, I have no idea. Anyways, continue. Find out. Can we can we go through all the stuff, please? No. Uh, can we please finish the podcast before we talk about the podcast? Off of the podcast. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're getting too meta. <laughs> um, I'm done with my stuff. I'm gonna go sleep because I have to work. I have to go to the fair tomorrow. Yeah. Yay. That's not fair. <laughs> and no. anyway, my termination. We're not foamers. We're train aficionados. Uh huh. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Uh, okay. Next. The only thing I, well, the only two things I have up to talk about are the modem and pen that I got to swap me mm-hmm. for my hat. Oh yeah, I saw that. Hold on, yeah. let me put that picture up. I want one of those. I I was trying to find the cap, but couldn't find the cap, so I sold to the pin. <laughs> <laughs> no, the pin works. It would go good on my hat. My pin head. <laughs> and I've been planning my new layout for the new house. Oh, okay. Are you gonna and get a layout? Yes. And I'm also going to restart the Chief Scale. Oh, okay, get wow. That, get, get that revived again and possibly winning this time. <laughs> I was about to say, um, what was I going to say? Oh, you know, don't, uh, or, you know, join the club, the club that I'm not in. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the new house has a nice backyard where. It, Walk a uh, pebble trail going through it. So, oh uh, well, I don't go in the back fences. Okay, so you're gonna turn that into your railroad? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I have my railroad go from one end of the yard to the other. <laughs> yeah. Jader left. Uh, yeah, Jader did leave. Okay, okay I so he announced. Jader that he went was. to sleep and then left. Weibel just quietly left earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But, Anyways, go talk about stuff on the... I'm going to try to kickstart the Iron Horseman subreddit a little bit more during the offseason, but uh, my termination is going to talk about that when we get to it. So if there's nothing else model railroad related, I mean, I again, I Chris has been doing all the work in the Iron Horseman Railroad lately, so we're getting some new stuff, and I've been able to take a load off and, again, do a uh, route review, which was fun. Yeah. I drove a trolley at 120 miles an hour. And then crashed Still it. Pop me up a fifteen percent grade. <laughs> yeah, that was also great. Uh, Wait, I still feel like okay. when you do more like scenic stuff and stuff like that later. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you, give it to you every Thursday for the zombie train, but you know. Yeah, and we'll we'll see because I want to get some more people in on the uh, hey, let's build the Iron Horseman route dealio. Because once yeah, once everybody uh, has every, once everybody has you know all the assets. Yeah. It doesn't I think I'm actually still missing like one and a rock or something. I, I'm well, missing I, you, I need to give you that. 
I really just don't feel like scrolling through the three thousand dependencies to try and find one. Well, that's on some, the DLS. well, I mean, something that's something that's unknown will be at the top of the list. No, no, it's not unknown. It's on the DLS, and like, I don't really feel like scrolling. Okay, well then, don't do that. Just right click on the Iron Horseman route and Content Manager, and select Download, and it'll download the things you're missing. Oh, that's a useful tip. Yep. Why did nobody tell me this? All right, da 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 da. Okay, <laughs> it's time for terminations. Uh, uh, first up. Chris, you're first up because you got a lot of points. Uh, 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 um, I wasn't prepared for this. Okay, that. Come back to me. Clearly, I know we don't come back to you. You're now silenced. Uh, yeah. And track four is Weibold with one for making a bad pun. <laughs> you might call it you're unfair. I just think you should hard. stop making bad puns. And your argument like, valid cookie monster on locomotive Chris, be quiet. Uh, so that's a interesting picture. Hey, it's John. And then there's <laughs> hey. Jader Jader with none, and then we're not foamers, we're train aficionados. Great. It's true. No. Shut up. You're not supposed to be talking. Uh, and then I would like to say that the last episode of this season of the Animal Horseman Chronicles, or this half season at least, is coming up at the end of this week. But wait, there's more. And Milky? Alright, mine is Terminus Snowing California Meetup Swaps Okamo Purchasing Anyone? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so. That's all for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Terminus Podcast. We had so much more to cover, but it got late. So, yeah. perhaps next time, maybe TJ will be here. I'll get to talk about the stuff that we did during the dumbest operating session we've ever had. Actually, hmm. per perhaps not. But, uh, yeah. that time when I almost made got to go sit in the corner. Uh, and then after that, in one month, in two episodes, we have the great 060 off. We so, Tune in for that, uh, and I hope everyone enjoyed, and we'll see you in two weeks. I apologize for the lateness, but we had difficulties. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.